I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm struggling to remember as well, so like, you know, that kind of makes both of us. I'll do the recap. Do you remember? I'll do the recap as soon as somebody can explain to me what campaign we're playing. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh, about some, um, let's see, can I can I give a decent recap just by zooming out? Let's find out. Um, party go north. Party gets stuck in, um, well, some of party gets stuck in trap box. Um, somehow party managed to lift trap and move through. Everyone's surprised. Um, Exodus almost drowned. Emphasis on almost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, party find statues. Statues weird. Uh, party find little fishy thing. Little fishy thing weird. Party go into a room with statues and cairn. Very wary of statues. Find door. Open door. Party find cube. Cube block hallway. Fain teleport. Everyone good. Fain find sleeping people. Fain go back to party. Party find way past cube. Party go see sleeping people. Fane give explanation. Fane Sherlock Holmes, maybe. <laughs> Melano wake up the people. Oh yeah, now I remember. Roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This sounds exactly like my inner monologue whenever I do anything. You know, so I don't know how these words are forming the way they are. <laughs> I thought I was being like really smart with these guys. I'm, I'm gonna do this now. Oh, oh no, they're fine. I was gonna say I, I thought. Oh yeah. Ooh, today's starting out great. This is the image that it's given me for the martial arts adept. Whereas the tokens look like fucking monks. Yeah, that's why I asked if they were monks last session. It's okay, John. I have a dice. With, I have a d20 with me. Well, a one. <laughs> See, so, uh, one, two, we'll one, two three. So who's missing? One, two, three. Clifton is missing. I will roll in our boy Clifton, who does not beat out Fane, but only just beats out Renard. Emphasis on the only just. Only so, just. let's see, what was in this room again? Let's do the little read. So, all the doors are boarded in this lo or all the doors bordering this lodging shape room are made of a heavy bronze. Colorful glyphs are scraped upon the was the western wall. There are two side boards against the walls to the east. In the middle chamber are two stone divans, each with a human figure stretched out upon them. Between the divans is a low table holding a flask and two goblets made of crystal. In the bottom of the crystal oh, flask is a quantity of silver dust. Worry. The figures Oh uh, excuse me, sir. You mind if I get on? The figures in the van are male and female, each bit middle-aged and perfectly preserved. They are very still, dust-covered, and apparently dead. Uh, use a blunt in the hard way that they're not actually dead. The bodies are covered in dry snake skin. The female wears a silver bracelet who holds what looks like an ivory wand. The male has an amulet of electrum resting on his chest. Inset with red stones of a considerable size. Oh shit! I know. Excuse me, never mind. I forgot my phone on the bench. Thank you. Uh oh. I'm just surprised that like his headphones held on that long. Yeah, I'm. So, I'm fucking surprised. I'm surprised they stay perfectly clear as far as I want. So, let's go to here. We're right here. This is how our um. This is how our people looked. So, and a three, and a two, and a one. Oh. Do they look aggravated? Very much so. If I recall correctly, they screamed something as they woke up. And now they're all they taking look? little karate stances like Jackie Chan. Was it language? Not one that you understand. You're really quiet, mate, I'm gonna be honest. He's gonna put his hands up. You're gonna put your hands up and like, like you know, like, whoa, hold on, not, not what I intended. We're 
now fighting you. Okay. Let me look at your sheet really quickly there. Uh. You cry. Alright. Uh. I'm just gonna place your hands up and take a little look. You know, given all this. Monk looks at you. The martial art adept, rather, looks at you. Looks at the other one. Their eyes narrow. Did anyone else your turn? No. So you can see their eyes are looking a bit shifty and around, you know. Exodus. So, did they appear dead before? Like, just fully dead? They looked as dead as could be, and now they're as alive as possible. Uh, I'm just gonna call out and say, "Hello, you evil!" You didn't answer your turn. Uh, I'll hold my action to Eldritch Blast if one takes. You don't have Eldritch takes... Blast. You're right, I completely forgot I don't. I'm sorry, I take that back. I'll stand... Mm, oh, here. Or... I'll stand right next to it. Over here. And it, if it seems to take any uh, aggressive actions towards my uh, comrades, I will yeah, kick his shit in. Oh, Offensively. What? Yep. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Making sure we're again or not. Why are you staring at me in weird places and touch? Love you. I'll get this checked and formatted since I've got the bit at the top of that computer. It might be the wrong format type. So you're holding their action. You're holding your action in case they do something dodgy, and the action you were holding was. Booming blade. The boom 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 blade. Okay. Martial art adept. What can these guys do? Martial arts. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but like, you know. Adeptly. Right. This one will. Yeah. Take a run up towards Melano. These attacks are stupidly weird. Okay, um... And then... Well, make... Press, une deux trois. Attacks, you're gonna watch as they look round and scream in a language you don't understand, but... You know, the translation on the subtitles on the screams are these hands are rated E for everyone. And immediately makes three attacks against Melano. Uh, could I have Melano make a dexterity saving throw, please? Saves. So Melano takes a nat 20 for 8, 9, 10, 11, plus 8 for 19 total damage. And the third one is a miss. And you has gone boom and blade, sir? Um. Yeah, I was gonna say this one. This one next to us hasn't attacked yet. So, can I can I hold it until the one next to us attacks? Yeah, yeah. If you're doing it specifically for that one there, then that's perfectly I mean, fine. I can't, yeah, I can't reach the other one with a sword. Yeah, no, you can but, still attack that one. Yeah. But, uh, your your yeah, friend yeah, attacked yeah. my friend. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's Melano's turn. Okay. 
It's probably off of Melon that wouldn't play our character, but I'm gonna go comprehend languages. Oh! It's the first time she's used that. <laughs> I'm like, Melano, people in this dungeon are speaking some <laughs> weird languages. Do you have comprehend languages? She's like, uh, I don't want to use it yet. I'm like, okay. So understand the literal meaning of any spoken language you hear. Yep. And as they are screaming around, giving it, uh, let me see. You need to be very careful of this because these, the literal meaning is not the same. So the literal meaning that you hear is You wake me, you suffer. Um okay. gotcha. 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 Now I know it's just like, yep, they wanna fight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, quicken spell. Carefully, you may have knocked off additional points there when you shouldn't have, as you have double clicked that, mate. Possibly, I'm gonna fix it. Uh, yeah, spell. Actually, no, Tasha's. They're the one in front of me. So I'm gonna hit two on here, so yeah, uh, and I'm gonna hit quick and spell here too. Huh? Yeah, so you did do that, so I'll give you three on there, and that makes it up because it's been automatically taken. So yeah, uh, sorcery points are now good. You look at this one and you go, well, ha 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 on you. Uh, wow, fails. So it takes nine psychic damage. Nine psychic damage. And it can't take a reaction until they end up its next turn. Moreover, on its next turn, it must choose whether it Action or bonus action. action. Yeah. Alright. Art thou doing anything else with thy turn? Harbor uh, no. play. Okay. Then, uh, I'm just gonna mind what on there. Stop requesting. Well, <clears throat> this one here. Seeing as Exodus has got really close with a, a hand held high with a knife. Just remember, he's got a knife, guys. Eh, a rapier, no knife. We've all seen that one, Tom and Jerry skit. It's a knife. You're gonna hit you twice. A 16 and a 19, 19 hits. It makes a third attack as well, which is another 19. And can I have. And the dumbest thing I'm ever going to ask a fucking rogue is, can I have a deck save, please? Yeah, 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 I'm just checking real quick. Yeah, no, I can't use any of my spells. Oh, am I hasted? No, you were hasted, it just the concentrator. Alright, I'm going to close that. I got it off, no, don't worry about Deck save? Yeah. Right, I got you. <laughs> you fall prone! Uh, does my attack go through as he tries to attack me? Yeah, as you see his attack and you immediately, you know, you retort and he knocks his first hand off where he hits you with the elbow and hits you in the face to knock you down if you want to go ahead and make your attack just now, Sire. Sweet. Alright. Uh, so we can play a sneak attack. Would you like me okay, to so make first... you cry a little bit? Sure. The D so that... DC was 13 for the prone. Oh, uh, and then my, my attack too, look at that. Oh, Good lord taketh, and you know, as he goes in, you fumble it just to get his hand away before he hits you and you go down, but, you know, at least he didn't hit you three times. Yeah, how much damage did I take? You uh, or did you already remove I took it? it off you. Thanks, man. I did my speed. It is the turn of the cliff. The ton. Uh, wonderful. I was just wondering about so, tomorrow. RJ, I'll let you know right now. Right. I'll let you know right now what's going on for yeah. yourself, okay? You have an enemy five foot in front of you, next to Exodus who's prone, and you have an enemy thirty foot to your right. 
Mm-hmm. What level is my character again? Uh, seven. Ah, uh, shoot. No divine spike for me. Um, do I have any spells to do radiant damage? Uh, gating ball. Spirit Guardians. Yeah, Gating Bolt and Spirit Guardians. Alright, how strong do these zombies look? They're not zombies. What are they? They're living human people. Living, living human people. They were just. Living human. So. I thought they were dead. They looked it, however, the undead don't usually speak. Or do karate. Oh, okay. okay, so so they, they were they were playing a whole trick on us, okay. That's fine. I guess I just don't get to use turn undead. Um that's okay. Uh let's see. Um you said uh how many longer? What was that? Oh. I think mm-hmm. you said it was one five feet away from the pool, so I'm next to the accident. It's one thirty feet away. Yes. How many are there in total? There's just two. Oh, just two? Yep. Oh, this should be fun, then. Oh, and, uh, if I'm correctly, um, spiritual weapon is third level, right? Uh, second level, to my knowledge. Even better. I'll do the Calcast spiritual weapon. Um, do, am I within range to make it appear next to that person over, um, over 30 feet away? Uh, I believe so. Uh, yeah, you can do it within 60 feet, so... This is, this is, however, point out right now, this is your final spell slot. Oh, shit! I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to uh, anyway. Yeah, I'll leave that alone. I'm not going to spiritual weapon. Uh, what I am going to do is... I, I, I have two spells that add to my overall, um, I guess, uh, Wait, weapon sorry. damage. One my, of them is... My bad. You know, my bad, it's your final second level spell slot, you've got nothing above it, but you've got three first level spell slots left as well. Who used all my big spells? Probably Jalen. Probably. Anyway, do I... Shit, second level. Um, what is... Is there blood letter at second level? Blood letter is a second level spell as well, yes. Alright, and is that, uh... Is that, um... Is that a, a, a one-shot, or is there a, do I have a spell slot for a weapon attack that, um, is it, it applies on, to my weapon continues, it applies to my sword continues? I think that spell, I, that, I think that, I think the other spell you're thinking of is also a concentration spell. Yeah. And blood letters concentration as well. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out which one of the, which one of the spells is the one-off. For one attack, or which, or, or in which one is the one that stays on my weapon, <laughs> or are they both like that? So, um, how day great on the blood letter, the creature will take 2d6 necrotic damage if it fails its save, and then it's 2d6 necrotic damage at the start of every one of its turns as long as you're concentrating on the spell. Okay, don't want that. Uh, so, that'll be the other one that has, um. Uh, Whatever my weapon attacks with for that joke. Right? Oh, sorry, what? Yeah. The so, I guess, so I said, so I guess the other uh, spell would be the one where um, I have the extra damage whenever I attack with my sword. Not after on the same card. Stop requesting. Yeah, so I, think that's, going... I think that's a higher level, Mitt, because you've got nothing else here like that. Yeah. Hold it. Is what was that? I think the spell I'm talking about is third level, so I'm you... sorry for wasting your time. That's right. The spirit, um, uh, yeah. spiritual weapon or blood letter? Um, neither. Okay. We're gonna run up to uh, we're run to the one five. What one you hitting? Sorry, the woman keeps talking over you. My bad. Uh, the one in five feet in front of me. I'm gonna swear. All or, right. Yeah. I'm you... gonna shoot two-handed. Okay, so uh, that would turn this into a D10, so 19 hits. 
And then that'd be slash R one D ten plus two for a total of three damage. It's a nat one. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Don't know why I thought it was twenty. We just gonna bring it down and weave into her. Do it now. It's your turn. What spells do I have as a bonus action? Uh, spiritual weapon, blood letter. Alright. Okay. Heal. Yeah. You know. Uh, fine. I'll, I'll use spiritual weapon. Which one you had? Jaylen, you're hitting. Uh, hitting the one way a ways off, thirty feet away. Okay. So I'll set. Gonna place that down. And then. You're paying a pound of flesh for this. An 8 for 7 will miss. Alright, oh, that is my turn. And as I have already said to Draco, he will pay a pound of flesh for what he's done. Renard. Pound of ass flesh. Right. Yes. Oh, I'm recognizing who's in the most danger here. We will move. And. 30. Okay. Behind. Melano gets. This. Shield of Faith, so plus two at hard AC for the duration. Nice, nice. We have sent you. Faith is to do this one time. Nice strike and pull out the old crossbow. Um. Yeah, and fuck that up. You can bring a second shot in. Screw that too. Oh, look out! <laughs> I'm sitting here reading whether or not precise strike would give you on a mate on like a range. It just says weapon attack roll. So fuck it, yeah, as a ranged weapon attack. Uh, just rolling piss poor tonight. Piss poor. one of those nights. Well, at least this fucking fucking sucks. I got closer. I think that's it. Okay, uh, this one. Just writing down this stuff. I have absolutely horrible handwriting when it comes to this. Bane! You've watched as Exodus has been put on his ass, and Melano has been pressured. What are you doing? Health Center, Cloud, and Senior Center. Jalen. Jalen. Okay. He's muted. No, he ain't. That's the thing. Oh, no, it's been. Out of here. Looking at the wrong one. Uh, okay. One sec. Uh. Doo -doo. Oh, we're playing this game, are we? You've rated E for everyone. Uh, 8 and a 14 both miss. 15 also misses. Okay. Doing anything else we're trying? Here to never mind. Stay here. Uh, uh that 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 Exodus well, lying have... down on the ground. I've realized where I'm getting additional noises from when I shouldn't, because I'm a smart cookie. No, I'm not. I just wanna say that John thought that my Discord username and profile picture was. <laughs> oh, no, RJ. It's because so both of you is usually set there. Hello? We look nothing alike. Um, so I will spend half my movement, so 15, to get up, and then I'll do my attack. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I'll Come on. Daddy needs. What? We'll put a croissant far away. Keep continuing. Alright, Booming Blade, let's do this. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes, let's go! 17 for 5 pets. Alright, alright, sweet, sweet. And then... Uh, Booming Blade, let's go. I know, it just it makes me have to Perfect. do the clicking thing. Uh... Additional 5, and then plus 10. sneak attack. So 10 damage. 11 ally, close, and then 8. And then I will then move 15 feet away. 
Okay. Bup, bup. Oh. Bup, bup. Do you want... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's her name needs some help. <laughs> That'll be my turn. You know, for the smallest of moments, I was like, oh yeah, opportunity of attack. <laughs> <laughs> you thought... Ah, ah. Yep. So... This one here has the pressure on. People are moving in, but you know how monks be. We've all seen Fane think he's hot shit. Uh, can I have a deck save from Melano, please? I'll be right back. Yeah. Melano is Noctis prone. Which puts the third attack at advantage. And uh, that's the one that misses. That's nine, nine damage. Hold on. Yep, yeah, no. Because I remember John gave the field of face, but that means that a 16 <laughs> just hits. And we'll go to meet Exodus. He says, questioning whether or not they can do that. Give me a sec. Mind Whip is a fun one. Um, Get yeah, does not meet Exodus because it can't move, because it can only make those attacks. That's just Mind Whip, There's ladies and gentlemen. Fight. Melano. Mm -hmm. Melano. Alright, uh, that is that, not her spellbook. Look it up, Kenneth. Stop requesting. That word plays. This is not a first level spell. Okay. Think. Um, Melano is gonna put her hand right up to this guy's face and color spray. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that, I can really that roll? It did not, no. No other disgusting part about all this yeah. is. How do I rotate that? Okay. Just click, just click it, don't worry. Okay, here we go. It's the end of the summer and I am... Yeah, John's Who not in it. Who the fuck is calling me? John's not in it because, um... Look. I base it off of your squares. So, he, whilst he's in the cone, he's not... In a red square. Similar to Mad Mage Let's see. Oh, dazzling Hello? a light flashing colored lights. Hand. Um, how many hit points will creature spell effect? 15 foot cone. Can anyone hear me? We can hear you. Yep. Alright, just checking. Walk into my house now. I'm sorry, what the fuck does this spell even do? <laughs> um, I think it blinds so just like oh. it oh it seems overpowered for level one. There's so much going on there, and like it just at the very top, it could be like Blaine's target. Doesn't say that at all. Dazzling ray of light, blah blah blah. blah. So, uh, starting with the lowest hit points, creature affected by the spell is blinded. Uh, yeah. Uh, our boy here is not blinded. You just put your phone in his face and open Reddit on light mode. So, uh, I'm back. You can make the assumption there that uh, your target has more than 46 hit points. Mm -hmm. Did I announce your turn? Uh... My sibling is home. I might beat the rattles for this. 
And it knows you're doing, my guy? No, that's all. Okay, okay. This new uh, microphone is really hard to hear you, so like... <laughs> I'm used to like the, the bassy. I'm assuming you... it's a Discord thing and not a... Oh, you usually phone. you usually use your phone. I do. You ain't I using was... your phone this time, you can tell. Sorry, let me, um... Don't worry. So let's see, this, uh... Oh, my sibling um, better not be I, home. I just got back, and I'm curious, uh, did you apply the 9 thunder damage for the one that moved? Wrong one that moved, wrong one. I went to move another one. Oh, uh, my but bad, my bad. Pass just mind whip. So yeah, don't worry. Uh, for Fane, however, we play that game where one must catch the hands, and, you know, Fane is a master of patty cake, from what this guy can tell. And this guy makes three absolutely horrible attacks that just straight up miss the mark. Swing, swing, swing. Seven, seven, and a twelve. Clifton! Yeah, you give me a minute to breathe. Give me a minute to breathe. Hmm. My, my output should be all the way up, correct? Yes. Oh? All right, what did you what, what did you need me for? Um, is it my turn? Yes. Mm, lovely. Um, by the way, I'm home. Uh, I need to rescue these groceries from the front porch. I don't know how long they've been here. Uh, all right. So, who's who's still alive? First of all. So everybody's still alive. Yeah. Everybody in this club getting tipsy. Uh, okay, there's still okay. one in front. Exact same positions. Nothing's really changed. You still got an enemy five foot in front of you and an enemy thirty foot to your right. Um, the only difference is Exodus mm. is now behind that. Okay, mm. Scottish. Did anything change? You sound a lot louder now. <laughs> okay, there we go. I had my input all the way down. Me and my output all the way down. Why? Why? I don't know. That's just that's just the way it was set. Because I guess my phone is too loud, so I turned it down, and it kept those settings for me using my phone. Asking questions huh. all the time, Reynard. I'm asking yeah. questions because I'm trying to help. Don't think I've forgotten about the pound of flesh I'm going to carve from your ass. I'll take it one way or another. Self thoughts aren't cheap. You try to perform me miracles at the at the, at the, at the bequest of God without self thoughts. Gives me a uh, Anyway, a oh, god. Well, I mean, the Scottish is the god, or one of the gods. Oh, oh I am all god. of the gods. I am all powerful. Come at me, bro. Exactly. I perform miracles for the DM. Did you just said you were gonna come for his ass no matter what? I like ya. And I want you, <laughs> and we can do this the easy <laughs> way or oh, we the, can hard do way. the hard way. <laughs> I said I'll take it Your from choice. you, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm also taking his arts. Um, yeah, I, I, that's I see we doing this the hard way. That's essentially what's going to happen. Left it. Hand over the pound of flesh. Left it. Um. Anyway. I'm Wait, yes. what, what are you doing? We got you. Get your spiritual weapon. Okay. And you've got your. Yes. Yes, I do. Um, I. I'm going to, you know, sync up with my spiritual weapon and a one and a two and uh, two handed slash on um, the enemies in front of us, respectively. So let's smash off spiritual weapon. We have no spell slot. So spiritual weapon, uh, that there were 12. Um, the rolls are horrible for all of us. Um, because you're two handing, got to unequip your shield the two hands. Uh, so we swing our sword. Our sword is a 15, which is a miss. He's gonna bring down and get the spiritual weapon, and you know, you're divided. So therefore, you know, yeah, this slightly missed. Did anyone else return, my guy? Curse Fane. I don't know why, but I feel like he was responsible for this. Obvious. Renard. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna my turn. All right. <clears throat> Finish closing. You know, this. What the fuck is that oh, the door? Mercilessly attacking our lovely Hi. Oh, no, man. Yes, I'm going to pick up. Oh, 
One per se strike. Yeah. Really? I'm not going to insult you, but the 18 hits for a total of 9 overall owies. Is there anything else you're done? Um, nope. Okay. Move it over to Fane, as Fane in the Martial Arts Adept sitting there playing Patty Cake. Okay. Patty Cake, Patty Cake, me, me, me. Fuck him up! Oh, baby, a cripple. You're gonna come in. One in the, what's your damage type, by the way? FedEx can't return my package because it says FedEx Express on the box. And the call agent, who assured me that they were the same thing, lied. Nine total damage, please. Can... What do you say your damage was, sorry, mate? Acid. Acid, okay. Sorry, you've gotten quiet again all of a sudden. Uh, but yeah, it's three, ah. four, seven plus two for nine in the nat 20s. You just kind of come in there and go in there. It's a brutal hit, as you can see here. Do it now, your turn. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm looking for it. There it is. Stunning streak. They are. Hello. Stunned. We hear ya. <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure they still work. Um. Yeah, headphones dropped. Broken half. Put back together. Then it's fine. And else return there, mate? Nope. Eh, he bought us. Uh, he will proceed to boom blade fuck up the, the motherfucker next to him. So, Fane? Uh, not yet. Fane has been getting on his nerves, but not not enough to send him back into the afterlife. Um, let, let's see here. All right, regular booming blade sneak attack. Let me just read up actually on my um one of my my um uh, swashbuckler feature. I don't know if I have to have not have another enemy within ten five feet of that enemy, or if I have to have another ally within five feet of me. The swashbuckler right? shit for sneak attack. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the Isn't two. Isn't ally? Uh, um, during uh, a human... No, no, it's this one, Rakish Audacity. Let me populate it. I don't know why what I got the uh, source book when you could have done that. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you, you don't need to... No other creatures are within five feet of you and you don't have a disadvantage. So, Bane is within five feet of me. So, I do not get a, a, a sneak attack on this. Okay. Push into the side. Okay. I had to... I just had to, you know... Alright, so, 15. Still need you to explain how you're hitting this, because there's you, there's Fane, and then there's the enemy in a straight line. What are you talking about? There's Clifton, then there's you, then there's Rebel. Oh, sorry, there's Clifton, there's the enemy, there's Fane, and then there's you. All in a diagonal Hold line. Hold on. I'm not the only one seeing that, right, guys? No, I'll show you what I see. I see this. I see trees. Ah, that one green. couldn't move. I actually had to move that one back. Um, because that one got Tasha's mind whipped, and it could either attack, move, or take a bonus action, and it attacked. Mm -hmm. So that so one's not actually there. Let me refresh, because something's going on. That one's down by right. Melano and Renard. Did the other one move? No, it, the one was them. they're still in the same place, because one's kind of flanked by Bane and Renard. So, you know, they're both beaten down on it. it it's beaten down on them. Mm -hmm. And then Melano's pressured, Renard's come up to help with that pressure, and you're just kind of standing right. in the middle of the room like a spare prick at a, bride, a bridal shower. Alright, alright, alright. Right. Then I'll, uh, I would have made my way over to the, the one... I think, yeah, I think Clifton and 
Fane got that handled. I'd like to go, yeah, move Do here. You? I'll make my attack. And then yeah, I assume a 15 misses. 15 misses. 15 misses. I move back. Okay. That's my turn. Step back, back and forth and forth. <clears throat> this one here. Uh, <laughs> gonna make two attacks against Renard. That's a 22 and a 21. Get. It's 22 and a 21. Renard, can I have a deck save, please? Mm -hmm. sure. It's okay, Renard. You don't have to consent to the attack. <laughs> Hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, I don't consent to getting hit. <laughs> the consent yeah. comment. Um, right. So yeah, it's just this is one of my triggers actually. <laughs> you take twenty two damage. You fall prone. Um, I'm gonna require DOS con saves from you back to back. Save on the first. Saves on the second. As you're down, it kind of comes down, full Jean Claude Van Damme, down on the knee. Try just ink it. Oh, that's fucking that 20, that is too. Just down and poof to the jaw for a total of 15 damage there. Which requires third con save. This man just get con saves for days. Melano. Hello. Hello. Isn't she stunned? No. Why would she be stunned? Because you hit her with the thing. She's prone. She failed it. Oh, she has to stand up half her moving, okay? Yeah, that's all. I don't have stunning strike in my monks because I'm not a bitch. <laughs> Crazy. Um, anyway. She likes moving fire. Why? Uh, Moonfire is essentially Sacred Flame, but if there's two targets next to each other, she can target both of them instead of just one of them. Is there a range? <laughs> I feed them each other, okay. Yeah, the two of them got to be like, bestest buddies. Uh, that be kiss. Every time we touch. <laughs> uh, my other friend's been singing that song. What, what is it called? I'm going to play it real quick on my head. <laughs> Gonna mind sliver. Mind slower intelligence. Not these guys' strong suits. You kind of watch as it looks a bit how, funny. How did you watch as the IQ of the room decreases? <laughs> did anyone else with your turn? That's it. Oh, this one here's stunned, so it really can't do anything. Nothing. If it makes a saving throw. It has to be just subtracted by a D4. I thought you stunned the one over here, next to you. I, I thought you uh, mind whipped the one here, sorry. I'll add four onto this one, take four off of that one. It then makes a con save against your DC, doesn't matter, still fails. Clifton. Oh, oh no, yeah, it's no me already. I'm going to turn him up. <laughs> What's, what, what spells and cantrips do I have available to me? Uh, um, for you, why are you answering uh, I don't have access. Holy Word Guidance, Spare the Dying, Toll the Dead, uh, Guiding Bolt, Healing Word, Inflict Wounds. I have Inflict Wounds, oh, I never used that so far. I wanted to use it, but I never got to use it. You and have guess who's in front of me? You have advantage on this attack as well. Because they're stunned. Oh, I have. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have used the wounds once to a, a kill an enemy. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, you know what? We'll do it again. I'm going to say, stay still. Damn it. I'm going to shove him on the, sh shove him on the shoulder and use the flick wounds. Okay, I'll, I'll roll to hit. I'll rack off and flick wounds for your advantage. 25. 19 as you put your hand out and shout stay still god damn it and it stays still long enough for you to get the touch did anything else with your turn um can i use spiritual weapon bonus attack yep yep a bonus action yeah 
I'll crack that off here this now. Wait. Spiritual weapon is a 13 to hit. Is now it's your turn? Besides scolding them with spiritual weapon? No. No, nothing else. Bernard. Ooh. I'm gonna pick my bloody ass up off the floor and try this all again. And every time you touch. Damn it! Yeah. Stand still so I can hit you! I thought you were saying, I thought it was just for the briefest moment there, you were saying, damn it, Faith, stop digging. Oh, that's right, not the talker. A 23 for 13 big owies, as you're going to come in, the 13 is just a touch smidge with some fire in there, plus a smite as well, boom bang, plus a 17 for 11, ah, oh, big damage here tonight, he's going to slash down, boing! Bang, and then immediately straight back up once more with that long sword. This fuckers went from looking good to looking on death's door within one turn. Did anyone else do your turn, my guy? Uh, nope, that's it. Fane, the stunned creature with a necrotic webbing spinning in front of you. I was going to get messed up. Okay, I'm good at the fuck oh, So watch this, watch this. Three nat ones, right back on. to back. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yes, my, 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 my little sunshine. None of those hit. What? What's wrong with me? Come here. Pulling less than ten. All Come of here, those yes. should be at advantage. Very so if soft. you want to hover over and click the pluses, because it's stunned until the end of your next turn. 17, oh, 17 for day. 5 hits, oh, 25, oh. oh wait shit, I took that off of you, there you go, oh, <laughs> 17 for bit. 5 hits, followed by a 25 for 8, as it does just punch it in the back of the head and you watch as it immediately folds like a pin deck chair, did it answer your turn? Of course, to... baby you got food in your bowl, I can't I do anything it. else about it, okay, and I will move us over, and I'm going, you ready? You ready for this? Alright. You ready for this? I'm going to Fury of Blows. You can't. Fury of Blows. I can't? You used three oh, attacks. I my bonus attack. Yeah, 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 I got you. That's right. I will throw it over to Exodus. Wah. Ha. What's ha? You already know what's about to happen. I move on in. I say... What's up with a little bit of the booming blade action? Get a little bit of booming blade in there. 23 for 11 hits. Ayo, and then um, let's do sneak attack first. That's not that good, but then. No, that's alright. That's alright, don't worry. Don't worry, he's gonna oh. run in, rape here, immediately stick it in there, and just. You watch as the body goes limp before the. Shielding of boom goes over. It's got 13 health, mate. You've absolutely fucking scunnered it. Ew. It does collapses in the middle of this room. In front of you. <clears throat> the room is now empty. Oh, no, it's, it's empty. Bang goes, well, they're not going to be using these anymore. What, what do they have on them? They were monks. Scottish, Scottish all of it. All of it, Scottish. All of it. So. In the bag. In the bag? <laughs> in the bag. Put it in the bag. I'll Nobody tell you I'll party. tell you what you get. Yeah, um, there's a party um, sheet. Party loot, IKR is what I called it. And then we've got six golden statues, a mask. So if you want to edit that, I'll tell you what you've got right now for you're taking quote unquote everything. One second. Well, help. Uh, I need to see where it is. I'm going to help because I want some money. I mean, player. not to die around this man. I won't take party stuff, but you know, random guys. No. Oh. Sure, uh, sure, sure. So you get an ivory wand, a 
bracelet and an electrum amulet off of the body. Yeah. Just a bracelet. A bracelet of a rather shiny silvery metal. You can't quite make out what the type of metal is by looking at it. Dark vision be damned and all that. Maybe it's a um, stat. What were what were those poles in the wall made out of? Adamantine. And yeah, maybe it's an adamantine bracelet. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybelline. New York. It's Tiffany and Co. <laughs> I thought Maybelline was a makeup company. I'm gonna also take these uh, powders and stuff that are in here. Put that on the top table and stuff. Jugs. Yeah, I'd add, add two glass goblets and a uh, two crystal goblets and a crystal jug. What were they doing with these? Uh, I'm assuming it's what made them sleep like that. Whoa, because shit, pour up. up. Uh. <laughs> Give me a glass of whatever they had. <laughs> Exodus, do you do you were you putting in stuff? I'm just helping. Like he's just being a good helper because he wants stuff. So I wasn't. I, I didn't write anything on the thing because if we both write it, we can't see who's writing what. So they both pop up. You know? uh, it's like ivory, you read it. Said ivory wand bracelet of Electrum. Um, no, an, an Electrum amulet with a garnet and a metal bracelet. Electrum amulet with garnet. Okay. I feel like I spelled garnet wrong. If you think you sold it wrong, you didn't. I, I'm not saying that with any certainty. I'm just saying that to say that. Don't listen to me. It's a bad choice. Worst choice you could ever do uh, listen to me. Bracelet made of an unknown metal. Every Ron Electrum Amulet with a Garnet? Yes. Bracelet made of unknown metal. Is there anything else I'm missing? Um, two crystal glasses and a crystal jug. Two crystal glasses. I'll be back. Yep. Give me, give me a moment. Jug. Said there was like silver powder in their last session. Yep, and the jug there's a silver powder at the bottom. Holding a silver water. <clears throat> Damn, done and done. And dumb jug dust. Don't drink this. <laughs> <laughs> wonder if that guy still makes YouTube videos. <clears throat> Promises, I might drink it, you know, might not. Open door. You... Oh my god, it's a corridor. I know. Yo, caught off. <gasps> Guys, don't open that other door over there, you'll you'll jump scare yourself. <laughs> Door. That we don't want to go that way. The door that um, Exodus is standing in front of. That's the bad door. It's a scary door. I don't remember that. All right. <clears throat> let's go. All right. Let's go. Okay, I gotta take Melano. Melano on my back. <laughs> Yes, I'll take Clifton. 
Look, guys, the sorcerer is really pushing it. Oh, oh, here we go. As you. <clears throat> different numbers. I hate how the numbers in this goes. There we go. Ah. Cool. As you come towards this door, you smell a bitter sweet smell that seems to cling to the back of your nose. Mm. It smells like That's what a rotting. Smells like. All right, I open door. Do you lay your eyes on the room ahead? Inside, amid a pile of rubbish, awful, and bracken ghostly lights move across the floor. You take a quick look. You realise that this is being emitted by... I will be nice and not show the image of the giant beetles. They seem to be around a dozen of the creatures in the room. Each of them about three foot in length. They don't seem to what it's used, and from within the large pile of trash you can see glints of something shiny as well as glints of moving lights. Like something shiny. Oh no, cash fireball! Oh no no! <laughs> Here we go. And it's actually cast in fireball right now. Explosion. Burn. As you... As you cast this off, all 30 giant fire beetles will not bother to make a dexterity save as they have four hit points. <laughs> <laughs> I will, however, ask you for a dexterity saving throw. Me? Yep. I'm not in the red circles. Not for the fireball. For the numerous okay. amounts of metal that are coming at you. Save throw. Of course, it's four. Six. Piercing damage. There's a dagger. Oh. It just sticks right into your shoulder. I take that out. The dagger chose me, so I choose the dagger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will add a dagger to your shield. It's a very, very painful, very. It hurt more than a normal dagger would have. Okay. Um, Magic weapon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's probably just, you know. Added it to your sheet. Oh. I will then delete the fireball. Is the room. You ever smelt trash burning before? That's all right. Yes, I live by a trash heap. Can't call your neighbors that, mate. They're just called neighbors. Ooh. This room now smells like burning, sickingly sweet trash. Um, you is also a... see a large turquoise gem which is very clearly scorched and burnt up. Nice. Love it. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw that in party loot. Why is it so hot in here? Because ah. there was a large explosion. <laughs> And one large tur turquoise gem. Do not ask me to spell turquoise. T U R Q O. Wait, turquoise. I. Yes. I probably spelled it right. T U R K W O I Z E. Turquoise. I actually spell that right? Okay, hold on. Hold on, everyone. Jalen's just got to go ahead and pat his own fucking back. No, no I forgot. No, I, I forgot a U. I forgot a U after the Q. 
two U's. You don't, you don't have a Q without the letter U. That's just not how it works. For some reason. Couldn't tell you why, but... Uh, man, that new uh, the new feet, the the Sucanese feet would have been pretty good here. Large did, turquoise. Did you just say the suck on these feet? <laughs> the suck on these feet. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're stupid. I think RJ's stupid. <laughs> 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 oh, is there um, is there anything else in the pile of trash here, or was the um the dagger what was sh shimmering and shining in there? I was I was really tempted to be an asshole there, but no, there's nothing else in there. <laughs> Part of me was so tempted to break your personality. <laughs> All of the burning trash is already in the room. <laughs> hmm. I don't want to go there yet. Reasons we're like going to hell. But yeah. Is yeah. there anywhere Look. that we have explored yet? I don't think so. Look at this daunting set of stairs. Some. Jesus fucking Christ, 120 foot tall set of stairs. I wanna this make sure I watch out for This corridor ascends from the north. All the way up. A gently sloped set of stairs. Fuck that, no. The hex uh, steps I to the know. side and he's like, no. You don't keep this physique by taking the stairs. Stairs. You're going up. As I... <laughs> as I go down these stairs, I'm going to make sure I watch for traps. As I step forward down the stairs, I am looking for traps. <laughs> I'm following him. Don't blaze a path. Don't blaze a trail. I'll wait like Perception three minutes. <laughs> I'll wait like three minutes in character for the giant boulder to... Drop from the ceiling and roll Make down the stairs. A perception check. Perception check. One. Perception check. Perception check. Almost time for check. There we go. Long, narrow staircase, but nothing seems off. Okay. Watch me get. <laughs> Following forward. Can I have dexterity saves, please? <laughs> From all of us? From all of us, yeah. I had an animation and everything. All of us and Exodus? Or just Are you? <laughs> I had an animation and everything. There was a giant boulder. <laughs> <laughs> the DC was 20. Oh. Yeah, I figured. I'm really annoyed that that didn't go now. What the fuck? That's gonna annoy me. Why is that? Hold on. That was supposed to trigger. Okay. Um, okay. Don't know why so, that was to be enter. The actions was. Are that perception check? All of my rolls have been below ten. So weird. Mm. Just eight sevens and fours. And then it was to move. <laughs> now, this entity <clears throat> from here. The whole idea was it moves here. And now at this point, I'm just doing this for my own hubris more than anything. I mean, I I really want to see it. I I can I move my character so I can see it. Yeah. When it happens. All right. But I was standing out of the way because I, I, I see stairway pointing downwards. I know the, I know the dangers. It's supposed to go like that. 
Oh no, it's coming right towards me. No, no, no. I done it so wrong. Why did it not move before? Either way, I'm so sad. That's that's gonna break my heart. I'm gonna talk about this for the rest of the week. I know it's gonna move <laughs> everyone else past that. The fucking hell! <laughs> Let's move again. As uh, you all watch, I've moved you as well because at this point here, uh, bum 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 ba, it will just keep repausing. Clifton's save. So let's see. Let's play a game called Pass Fail. Raise your hand if you think you passed. Oh no, raises her hand. So, I raise my hand. What the heck? I raise my hand. <laughs> A millstone concealed in the wall behind a layer of stucco lies at the top of the steps. No non-magical means can detect this stone if it is triggered. The mechanism pushes the millstone forward, sends it rolling down the stairs. When this occurs, anyone who has a passive perception score of 20 is not surprised. Everyone rolls initiative, including the stone, which has a plus 10 bonus to the initiative roll. If we're going into initiative, should I'm, I go back to I am, where I was? I am not doing it like that. No, you were you were just... Because the way this would have been done was you would have just taken mm. damage on a failed save. You know, AD and D mm. style. I'm not going to roll you into initiative for a fucking boulder falling down the stairs, you know? It reminds um, me of um, in Elden Ring, those, those giant balls that move around and follow you. Fun fact. Melano is the only one that passed. I know. DC oh. was 15. <laughs> Let's see. So, next question. Raise your hand if you think you've died. Died? None of us died, silly Billy. So, let's see, Melano takes half of this, so... Uh, that's... Eleanor takes 17 damage. Oh yeah, we're fine. Renard takes 35. And is subsequently knocked. <laughs> Bane takes 35. Clifton takes 35. And as the ball rolls down the stairs, you hear a massive crash. And then just from the back of the room, you hear, Call that! From Exodus. <laughs> you just hear <laughs> Exodus go, I fucking knew it! I told you guys, none of you guys wanted to listen to me. No one wants to listen to Exodus. <laughs> and then he comes back and just sees like a fucking like blood smear everywhere and he's like, oh fuck! Ah, <laughs> road kill. <laughs> so, with you come running through and you watch as Renard lies there twitching. Very much unconscious. Give a mouth to mouth. Make a medicine hey. check. He's stable. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's just uh, <laughs> grab Renard and take a break in this hall up here. Okay. Hold on. I think maybe. We go backwards. Because a forward, big trap. Even more forward, maybe even bigger trap. Go backwards, we know no trap. And knowing knowing this dungeon, it'd just spring the trap on us again. Apes together strong. I think I think we should go back and not go forward if we're looking to rest. There's Let's probably like seven boulders in that wall. Exactly, which is why we should move from this exact location. <laughs> I was thinking about that too. Let's just <laughs> back up. I just, let's drag Renard. Then we would have to go back through this hallway again. But we know it's coming this time. What? We know it's coming. Okay, that doesn't change the fact that we, there's a boulder tumbling down the the, the hall. Fine, I'll, 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 uh, 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 <laughs> I thought you were a little further through it, I was gonna read to the room. Yeah. Oh, fine, no, you're, you're close enough. You're close enough. Yeah. 
Oh, Before right. I started laughing hysterically. <laughs> you can see that if we're judging by your vision, it's a very spacious room. A vaulted hall with cracked walls ravaged by time. Some walls that you can see charred. Scattered around the floor are several stone statues of baboon like creatures. Chipped and tipped over. The remains of a few once living baboons are also there, partially eaten, lying between fungus covered corpses. Head. Say baboon. Baboon. A head. Something spherical floats in the air, about chest high. You can see that it has a singular central eye and about a dozen tentacles growing out of its top. Each appendage has a white sphere with a black pupil at its tip. Absolutely not! Well, uh, sorry, what Absolutely was that? Absolutely not! No! Could, could you repeat that last bit? Each appendage uh, has a white sphere with a black pupil at its tip. And this is a... Yeah, a picture of the... the is a, Did you say it was a creature or a statue? Do you not know what that is? This is a statue? Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is a creature. Can I see an image of the creature? You're half, so I'm going to give you what you see right now is what you see. Because you are half cover. You want to see that full thing? You step out to see that full thing. Right. Run, run, it, it, run. It, it, it does. I uh, really. Fane, didn't you want to go forward? Fane, come on, didn't you? No, wanna... not now. Uh, what, what do you mean? You don't see it? See what come... No, I'm not fighting that no, thing. No, outside. no, no. You don't. You don't see it. I'll be like, Fane, come here. Fane, come here. Oh. Fane. Oh. Fane, Fane, walk up. Come here. One sec. Let me unclick. We're proceeding. Now. We're proceeding. Didn't you want to? You know. You want to go forward? Didn't want to listen to Exodus? For the second time in ten minutes. He's <laughs> <laughs> fucking done. See what happens when you don't listen to me. He's, just, he's literally so petty that he's having this like muted, like I told you so argument. Like ten. Like, hold on. How far away? Literally thirty feet away from a monster. It's like I fucking told you. A monster that we don't want to fight right now. Let's go. Exactly. Oh, that's called a party wipe right there. That's what I call that. <laughs> He's not even further back. He's in a totally different fucking room. Uh, he's so that's done. What, that's what that monster is called. That's called a party wipe. Let's not do that. <sighs> okay, for some reason my headset cut out volume, I couldn't hear anyone, so I was just talking. Yeah. Hey, Fane has completely- Fane is in a completely different room altogether now. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, do you need me to roll like a stealth check to get- or something to- Nah. Alright. Weep, 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 weep. <laughs> uh, yeah, weep. Oh, sorry, I was moved. Yep. I still have control over Renard. I'm carrying him. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, my child. Why the I'm fuck do I have. Oh, I've got Renard as first. Drops my head off every step. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> so you see the large trail of blood through the scorched room. Fane came this way. Mm. Like a detective, I follow the blood trail. I looked at Clifton and say, "Hey, Clifton, could you do something about this?" About what? Gestures to Renard's body, <laughs> unconscious. Oh, like you must have like cure wounds or healing word or something. Give him a little. Tippity tap touch for well. Sure, you're gonna come to in the room that was scorched, a shattered boulder lies here. Oh, what happened? Oh, I, uh, it was rock, big rock. 
I, uh, before he gets woken up fully, I, uh, minor illusion myself to have a beard again. To make him believe that he died and was resurrected again inside of the dungeon. Uh, and he would, he would try to convince Reynard such. Reynard. It's been so long. We've been trapped in here for a hundred years. <laughs> Reynard. Not being, Reynard not being an idiot. Recalls that you're a human, and you don't tend to live that long. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, are you catching up with Fane and Mel in one yeah. second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the I can't. How do I unselect? Yeah. All right, there we go. We. We. How are we doing this room? But I guess we're moving all the way. Wow, that's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. I gotta lay down. It's a good thing they. <laughs> it's a good thing we. In case that monster gets lost, we <laughs> let him mature <betray> right <laughs> towards us. <laughs> oh, Jeez. They set up a guard. Are here. Are you taking a long rest or a short rest? A long rest. <clears throat> the long rest. Door the doors that are swing in or out. Um, the door that you came through. Uh, to get into this room over here swings inwards. Uh, the door that you have just passed through swings outwards. And so you can guess that this one more than likely swings the same way as this door here. Technically inward. Alright, can we move anything to bar those doors? Some bodies. Bodies, yeah, dead weight's a dead weight. I mean, what about these like tables here? Ever open a door with a potty against it? Be hard. Some tables here. I said, I said, uh, uh, I was gonna say, I think that's a divan, mate. It's a divan. I don't uh, fucking know. Like a boudet? No, I hello. I think those are just kind of tabley, yeah. Um, I would say, given the weight of the doors, a body is going to be more than enough in front of it. That if someone does try to open the door, you're going to have fair warning. All right. All right. Did you just push up the bodies to the door? I'm back. Can somebody please tell me what's happening? Long rest. Renard nearly died. Sorry, yeah. Renard was unconscious. He got hit by a rolling Indiana Jones. And did, did, did the person acting as my proxy heal him? Eventually. Eventually. Yeah. Dragging down the stairs. Yeah. He has some slapstick. Humor. That's the part. That's that's. that's... Well, Exodus believes he saw something, so you know. Yeah. You all want to go ahead and knock a long rest off on your sheet, because let's be honest here, you're in a dungeon. Um, you know, whoever's in charge of my sheet, please do that now and not eventually. Already done it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you resting, boys? So glad to see you, Scottish. And Exodus, you also lose your point of exhaustion. Ayo. Do I still have inspiration yep. that I haven't used? I feel like I do. Oh, that's mm -hmm. good. Remind me what that does again. Uh, you can either take advantage on one roll or re-roll. I have exhaustion from being That is alive. very... You should have had a negative four, and then a negative three, and then a negative two, and then a negative one. Oh, yeah. However, that requires me to remember that. I was going to remember that for all of you guys, but I forgot to. That's on me. I have a shirt somewhere. A physical piece I of paper. I was going to cure cancer, but I forgot to. Like, I had the paperwork for it, but like... Eh, no, it. no. Fair warning. I, I was, was doing that so I could stay accountable. Because if you guys died again, that's on me. I was going to keep that as a reminder for myself to avoid any activities which would, I guess, strain you all again, so to speak. I was going to clean my room, but then I got high. And then I got high. <laughs> 
gonna I was gonna I, go I didn't to sort of mention that as the gonna... as the thing in the first few decisions I made after uh after what is it um Renard was uh, revived. I, I I made sure to mention that. So I'm gonna try find ways to get certain things automated for us for um any next games and such and any future games as well. So uh don't worry. Uh right now I am not too fussed about that negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one. Because um Lost Shrine of Tamal Shan is built for levels five through eight. User oh, level seven. And also you have five in this dungeon. Most of you have the tough feet. So Oh, it's, it's, it's for a level eight. I could take it. That, that usually is that that boulder in a regular game is supposed to be a death trap. Should be have approached that at the correct level of like level five. Uh, that Not the tough feet extra. Yeah, I done like thirty five damage. Yeah, that actually five d ten. Five d ten is quite a lot at level five, level six. Yeah, no, so that's literally hit dice. I think that's that's fighter hit dice. How, how did what, what spell slots did I have to heal Renard? You had a first level. Damn, I'm I'm sorry about that. Uh, no, he. Sorry about that, it was um, the the boulder is what knocked him out. He failed to save mm -hmm. by one. I know. I just I feel like I I usually am better prepared um to help you recover from that. We we took we just took a long rest because a lot of people got injured, so it's like no biggie at all. Yeah. Just that, just for the know. math of it, for the math of it, a uh, level five barbarian with a plus three in their con, on average has fifty five hit points. If they failed that, they'd have lost over half their hit points instantly. A bard would be damn near dead. Um, a wizard, and by extent a sorcerer, they would. They'd be making death saves. <laughs> so yeah, five D ten is deadly. Yeah, yeah she's cookies. Wake up here in this small area where there were two people at sleep when last years were here. You haven't heard anything. The room's been deathly quiet. No pun intended. I wanted to um tune to my cloak of protection over my long rest okay now that i am attuned i feel much stronger hi has anyone else got what anything wasn't there like three magical items i picked up or was that on a different campaign like three like the bracelet the necklace and the with the eagle biting down, or was that my Wednesday game? On a bracelet? You picked up a bracelet. Yeah, there was like three items that I'm pretty sure I wrote. So, there was the fish, which was just a little thing that's constantly following you around now. The bracelet. I know the one you're on about. Um... In the in the gloves, the, I know what the gloves are. The the gloves with the blue fingertips and the arrow arrow on them. It's in party loot. Yeah, however, no one's got those gloves. Like, they're yeah, just in, they're just in the bag. What do you mean? I, I wore them, didn't I? I wore the mask. I, I've been uh, I put on like the I put on the bracelet and the necklace too. The bracelet required attunement, so. Right. You, can only, you can only, like, have so many magic items. You can't do a tune to mom. <laughs> I, I have, guess how many magical items I had before this? One, but you threw Zero. it in the ocean. Hey, hey. Motherfucker tried to me. <laughs> what the fuck? Are, that, that weapon was a piece of shit, mother. It was an abusive relationship. Toxic, I tell you. Toxic. You know, the therapy that I just had to go through. With the god of death. <laughs> So during your rest, you would take off these, you would take out these bracelets and attune to them. Yeah, 
And I, I would inform the party that I have, you know, the feeling that, you know, these are maybe magical, and if they are, I will examine the properties, and, you know, and then after, when I wake up, dole them out to the proper people who would help the most. So. I am for a curse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Time to get cursed. <laughs> Whilst you wear this gold bracelet, you have been granted immunity to petrification. It also allows you to cast Flesh to Stone DC 15 as an action. Once the spell has been cast three times, it can no longer be cast. Thereafter, you can cast Stone Shape as an action. After you have done this 13 times, the bracelet turns to just from solid gold to lead. Curse! The bracelet's affinity oh. with earth manifests an unusual curse. Creatures of flesh that are strongly related to earth and stone, such as stone giants and dwarves, have advantage on saving throws against flesh to stone cast from the bracelet. If a creature is super successful, the bracelet breaks your attunement and casts the spell on you. You make the saving throw with disadvantage on a fail, you petrify instantaneously. Bam, alright. That's not bad. That's not bad. It, it, it's a curse, but it's not a curse that makes you use it. I could just take it off. No, you're not a dwarf. What? It only affects people who are strongly related to Earth. No, that's if, if I cast it on something that's strongly related to Earth, like dwarves or stone giants, it, the spell can backfire on me. No, they just, the ha they just have advantage on their saves. Oh, and if they succeed, then it goes back at me? Yes. If they, save, that... if they save, it breaks your attunement and gets cast back on you, and then you need to save or hit the play. Alright, yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, on the other hand, you have that stone, that spell that can be cast that many times. Uh, that was turned to stone DC 15, correct me if I'm wrong? Uh, I believe so, but I could be wrong. So if you believe it best to check, then you If you could check, check. and I'll import. Oh, uh, what's like, it called? Oh, you splashed. imported it? Yep, it's on your sheet. Bracelet of stone. <laughs> Inventory. B -b 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 Bracelet of <laughs> rock magic. <laughs> Hold on. Is that, is so, that posted uh, in chat? You can cast Flesh to Stone. DC 50 is going to import Flesh to Stone to your sheet. Um, it's not your packed magic, I'll tell you that much right now. This here is your, I uh, will call this At Will. You can cast this six, six times per charge. Recovery formula, there's no formula. DC is flat 16. 15? 15. Okay. So you have six charges of this. Um, oh, it's three. Mm -hmm. So you have three charges of this, and then we will change it over, but it is there under your at will. Thank you. So, That's just the first one. I think you can only attune to one thing per arrest, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm saying correct me if I'm wrong, so I need to write down this right now. I'm looking at the attunement yeah. rules. It's one thing per uh, rest. Long rest. Because if it was a short rest, you'd be able to do like eight things, but like, nah, it's, it's one thing per long rest. <laughs> There we go. I've written that down in blue pen so it stands out. Yeah. Uh, does anyone want uh, a different magical item to uh, identify over the long rest? <clears throat> what would what that be? Well, uh, looking at party loot, um, the golden mask, uh, 
the is the gold mask magical we don't know so that's the fun of it um we don't know if the electrum amulet could be magical uh the bracelet of an unknown metal could be magical the ivory wand is probably magical it's a wand or it could just be a casting focus uh the pair of brown leather gloves with blue fingertips may be magical Well, I was a I was attuning to a thing, so I doubt I could affect it much. But I'll have Melano look at the uh, the mask for you. The mask? All right. Yeah. Inert, innate. Just the mask. I'll take that back to where it's, I like masks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about the the thingy, the flying thingy that like hovers around me? Do I know what that does? Just a little, just a little fishy that's following you. Just, just a little fishy. Bit hard to catch, but apart from that, it's that's really all it is. It's cute. Alright. One one oh. day you're gonna be fighting something and it is gonna mess you up entirely. Right, I'm gonna face off against Drugnar, Eater of Worlds. It's gonna see it and it's gonna be like, Flipsy! <laughs> oh my god, you brought home my pet. <laughs> I'm the giant poster looking Come for Flipsy. Let's, uh, let's do this thing. Alright. I will move Clifton. Guess I'm moving everyone tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to open this door just to see what's in it. Is this like the single token? You open the door, and as you do, you look at a 20 foot long corridor that spins to the right. It's not our main focus right now. Oy. And as you look once more at the huge, bloodied stairs. <clears throat> Why do I. Can you say I remember where the pressure plate that tripped the trap is? Yeah. It's uh four fifths of the way up. So five six. Sorry, five six. Oh sorry, I I looked up. What was that sorry, Ma? No, you're good. Like the where the huge blood spot is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was just saying that I looked away for one second and we were in a different room and it completely just shattered my psyche. I was like, what the fuck? This isn't where we were and we know all. I don't, I don't want to find out if there's another boulder in that wall. What do you, what do you guys suggest we do? I mean, we have the magic. Oops, sorry. You have what magic? No more big rock. Uh, uh anyone have mage hand? No, no, has to has mage mage hand, right? They're a wizard. That's like mage hand one hundred and one. Not a wizard. <clears throat> yeah, she does not. She does have mage hand. She do. She does. All right, then everyone back to the end of the hall. And we stand out of the way and just have Melano at one end of the, the hall. Mage Hand only goes for 30 foot. Yeah. <laughs> Mage Hand has, uh, Melano has to sacrifice herself <laughs> for the greater good. Um, I don't know. Um, if you have any objections, uh, Vex, uh, say them now. Vex? Sorry, what was... I'm just looking at the... I'm trying to find the... What, what was the... Vex and Melano and Bernadette GM... I, I just went with the first name. They, I don't know their actual name. <laughs> I only know the character name. <laughs> well, so she places the mage hand and clunks where it was. No, I'm going to... Nothing change. happens. He's going to go. Okay. Nothing happens. 
a big it flashing like neon like a... sign comes up and set 25 cents to try again. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to hop over, even though nothing happened, I'm just going to hop over the plate. <laughs> I'm gonna have Melano do the same thing. <clears throat> do you hear that? Oh, thank you. But the pressure oh, plate okay. was, but everyone who triggers it doesn't seem to have any ball fly out at them. <clears throat> Melano cast fireball around the corner. <laughs> you look and you see this rather odd creature. Exodus, you can. Now see the rather odd creature. What is that you? Whole time I'm a hundred percent used for thinking that's a beholder, that's a beholder, that's a beholder, no. that's a beholder. I was thinking it, but that's not a picture of a beholder. Yeah, yeah no, I didn't think it was a beholder at all. I thought it was like but this I think this is beholder related though. I think it's like a beholder underling. I forgot those are called. But I don't know. Um, Exus Ex Ex would be like, I see the creature. I'm gonna sneak over to it and fuck it up. I'll be right back. Okay. And I would, I would go to sneak up on it with my sneaky sneak. Do a favor, just whilst you're there, Exus. You, you're looking at it. You're sneaking up. Make a nature check. Uh. Whilst 18. eerie and looking like a beholder, closer and closer and closer you get, you can ascertain that this is not a beholder. You are smart enough. I know, right? That's a sentence we never thought I'd ever say. And I leaned back <laughs> when you said that. <laughs> I was like, smart, huh? <laughs> Ayo. A gas spore spreads from a beholder's body sometimes. However, this thing is not a beholder. It looks very much like one though. However, you're aware that it's very much technically a plant. Yeah, that threw me through a loop as well, don't worry. Interesting. Technically, a plant. Why do I feel like that is important for something? No, 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 no. It's not. <laughs> I have. Alright. Do I know anything like the hostility of these creatures? Um. Uh, not much else. Uh. You know that it's pretty fucking stupid. My man. Uh, yeah, I gotta sneak up on it and still do the do the fuck it up move. Oh, don't 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 touch that. Don't 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 touch that thing. Oh oh oh! So 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 we're not going to touch the strange, interesting thing. He's gonna shout this that. Time? He's gonna shout that over as he's making his way towards it, and you know. You really just gonna shout that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that in character. I, was, I mean, I said that in um <laughs> in player because in player. my pl <laughs> player knows the thing, but Bane doesn't. He wants to say don't touch it, but he doesn't have a reason to. They don't touch it. Because my, if he wants to like, say it, then isn't that reason enough to say anything? If you want to? No, player me is saying don't touch it because it's called a gas spore. If you touch it, it's probably going to pop. Ow. Okay. So you, but, but you just said Fane wants to say don't touch it, but he has no reason to. We're going to ask. Has, yeah, does, doesn't matter. Does it, let's just, I go, to, I go to sneak up and kill it. Do the do the balloon poppy noise that you know you can do. Pop. 
pop this balloon. I'm trying to, I, I can't do it all. Yeah, I, pop it with the damn. Rapier. Let's go. Make me con save. Oh as, no, I've yeah. been... As this is where shit gets real fun. It's real, real I fun. I would like you. to use my inspiration if I can. Okay. Heck is a gas bore anyway. I've never seen. As you this take the rapier and stick it in. Um. And these spores go all over. The room. Let's check. Oh, you guys are lucky. But yeah. It has one health. Oh, so they're like buoys wrapped in barbed wire. <laughs> Motherfucker. It literally has one hit point. It's gone now. Did I take, did I take any damage? No. Oh, he saved. Hey, uh, you would still call out of reflex and uh, walk back to the group. It's, it's good. Uh, <clears throat> I think that, that was a gas spore. I heard about them, but uh, I don't know why I didn't put together that they exploded in the gas. It seems like such an obvious. <clears throat> uh. All right. Well. Um. If that thing's around, then a beholder might be in the area, which means what? Bucket list. <laughs> so what's a beholder? Uh, imagine a cyclops, right? But just its head, hmm. and it decided to become one of the most powerful spellcasters in the world. I don't think I like that. Mm -mm. Does not sound fun. Just come in here, you see the far wall. A sack seems to be made of fish skin. I don't like that. <clears throat> I like it. I'm gonna go for it. Be like <laughs> a fish skin stack sack? Well now I have two of them. As you open it, you see it contains seven silver pellets about the size of a sling bullet. That's a very small pouch. I pick it up and I'm... Did you say silver? So it's silver ammunition. Yeah, like sling bullets made of silver. I would move it around. I'd be like, mad. I'd be like, is this magic? I'd sniff it. it like, smells fishy. Yeah, I won't lick it, but I'd be like, these are silver. I think it might something to do with water, maybe. Either that, or I have a. What if they grow the size of cannonballs when you throw them? That'd be pretty cool. That'd be really cool. I wish that was it. <laughs> the exodus is just like, man, that would be cool. And then it's just like, who wants it? Who uses a sling here? Does anyone have a sling? Renard, you look like a sling guy. Not Renard. Uh, yeah, Renard. No, you look like a sling guy. Do you look, look like a slinger? I. Did you look, you can tell that something in your mind whispers to you there, Rebel. Shoot to the next part of the dungeon, but the god doesn't know what the map looks like. There's something in the back of your mind, you know? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a sec. Got to find where you come in. Uh, yeah, so, um, so I can do the map. So I can give you an accurate description of what you're about to walk into. Uh, dun 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 uh, you see a long L-shaped corridor. Want me to go down here? 
can I go down here? Did you what enter? did I do? You entered into the second map. Okay, sorry. No, it's a very, like, that's, it's just a very, 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 like, I mean, my guy. Look, it goes over two fucking pages. Landscape. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone else following? I'll follow. I can't let this fucking idiot run off alone. The guy's car gone. <clears throat> then I'll move us all. Oh, that was a legitimate question. Me, let me add this to party loot real quick. Uh, it's just a it. different map. Don't worry, my guy. Bam, 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 bam. I heard that it popped. I just didn't know what happened oh. afterwards. Gas spore. He passed his save, so he's good. But now uh, oh, X has herpes. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. He used to be a pirate. You think Harvey's is the worst thing he's ever had? Or has? I'm sorry, you have super herpes. No, no! <laughs> Are we all seeing map numero dos? Uh, and Melanoise went back. Nope. No, I see map one. I, am, I have control of too many characters. I'm not seeing shit, but I'm saying that to be a smart ass. Yeah, it's just... Oh, this is a different map. Oh, I didn't I didn't notice it was a different map. It's just a seamless transition. It's a smooth and seamless transition to the next world, guys. Give me a sec, because I don't know what number we're on. I deleted that text. A fucking idiot. Oh, hold on, man. Hold on a minute. What number are we on, Scottish? Is it 40? You're <laughs> fucking close, believe it or not. I think my Grab this one here. Now don't worry, I know the number that we're on now. This <laughs> one here. I'll just quickly... But yeah, another long corridor. Seems to... I accidentally locked the door. Spoiler alert, there's a door somewhere. Yeah, another long corridor that goes down and then immediately hooks off to the north. It's another one of those ones. I'm still watching for traps as I go down this uh, quarter. Okay. So make a perception check. Perception check. Can all of us make that or? I mean, he's looking for it. Uh, he can help. Yeah, you know, I'll help instead. I'll be a, I'll be a good guy. I'll help. Oh, I'll, I'll give him uh, whatever spell or cantrip. Never mind. Does that thing. I'm... It's all right. Not twenty. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. There's um, there's a trap right there. Okay. I feel I should maybe make go. that a bit thicker. Okay. Here. Make these lines a two, perhaps? There we go, just a bit thicker to stand out, yeah. Like a pressure plate? Good question. Uh, ah, as you bet, approach the bend in this passage, you see a series of faint lines in the wall depicting people playing games that use a ball as the goals. Uh, at a place for this corridor bends is a capstone. This seemingly covers a hole in the floor. Etched into the top of the slab are several glyphs. You don't read these glyphs. Five foot above the capstone. The southern end of the wall, which is technically... Yeah. I've been fucking miserable for weeks now. hemispherical depression. One foot in diameter. I think I can like step around it. Mm. On the corner, I just step from here to there. Step in the name of love. Step in the name right of love. Instead of going, go. There's nothing that says you can't, and therefore. You can. 
No trigger image. You see, you know what you're doing. It's, it's very clearly, you know. It's very clearly just like a, a manhole cover, for lack of better terminology, and you're just kind of holding the wall, putting one leg over one end, and just, you know, essentially straddling it the entire time. Um, Fane says, watch out for uh, that corner right there. There's like a, a pitfall or something like that. I have to guess. <clears throat> you see this on the wall. Bar bar the ball that's get into it. I don't know why that's really there for but yeah. Uh. Hmm. Looks like that hurts. That's what's on the wall here. Want it out again? Do you want me to you need to I'll put you know what then? I'll um I'll put it in chat for you. Why? Thing looks like it goes. Right. It's Let's watch out for this uh plate here. It's uh, spitting straight facts. He's gonna go down here, making sure he's still watching out for traps. Clifton will do as you do. He will follow in your footsteps. Roger, looking at this thing, anything coming to mind? Any thoughts? What do I say except you're not going to leave? <laughs> no, uh, Renard, John, it's Renard. Oh, well. Me, Renard, not you, Renard. <laughs> Does it, my next, my next character has been called Tyler Jail Jalen. Yeah, nothing comes to mind. I don't think. Guys, catch up. Booming. Do you remember? I oh, fuck it. See whoever was listening to that fucking TikTok with the shitty flute bells to that. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Idea who that was. Oh, still a little bit in here. So. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's an area to long rest in. Sure, this area here. <laughs> I've got a lot of fucking reading to do. Oh. This oddly shaped room is decorated with a cat motif. The center of the southern wall is carved to resemble the face of a snarling tiger with hollow eyes. Near the center of the room is a stuffed tiger, posed as if it were on the prowl. The tiger's left ear has been torn off, leaving a jagged scar upon the head. Also near the middle of the room stands a stone statue of a tiger-headed man holding a spear. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an image. Ooh. Nice. Mm. He's been missing something from his chest. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> in several other spots on the floor are stuffed domesticated cats in various poses. Sitting, stalking, pouncing. And one is begging, paw in the air. Other than the cats in the centre of this room, one of the cats in the centre of this room has been knocked over and chewed on. Its stuffing has fallen out. Hung on the walls are several skins of lions and leopards, tiger heads, and a cat of nine tails. Along the northwest edge of this chamber, a large calendar stone mounted on the wall above the stone altar. It only goes to 2012 and historians believe this is doomsday. <laughs> I'm glad someone appreciated that. Hey, I, <laughs> I appreciate it. I get it. That is the, I, it was the Maya. It was the Maya calendar. Yeah, the, the statue the of the cat man depicts a tall human male with two extra Two extra sets of nipples. You see, I'm, I'm 28. Ayo. Why am I laughing at that? 
Let's uh, let's he keep PG thirteen in here. He seems to be wearing a tiger faced mask and is clad only in a loincloth. A jagged scar runs across the left of his chest, above the heart, and his chest has a sunken and bony look to it. The spear is stone hafted, but bears a silvery head. Mm. Okay. Um this room's cool, I guess. I wonder how you become one of those things. Half man, half R. <laughs> you date younger women? <laughs> <laughs> they don't date me though. Oh, Oh, I got fucking dark <laughs> quick. <laughs> Oi. Yeah. What's the, uh, what's the play here, boys? Uh, there's a thing in the guy's chest, right? That needs that needs some to put it in. Yeah, he's missing something. Or is that just in the image? Um, statue of the Catman depicts a tall man with an extra two extra, I think two extra sets of nipples. Seems to be wearing a tiger face mask, clad only in a loincloth. Jagged scar runs across the left side of his chest, above the heart, and his chest is a, is sunken and bony. I'm gonna hop on the tiger and ride it. Ooh, ride him, so it does. On. You watch it. <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? As the statue comes to life. Allow me to read. The creature is a petrified. <clears throat> if the altar is molested or any of the room's contents Ooh. are abused. I didn't abuse it, I just hopped on it. Oh, <laughs> uh, you- what did you hop on? The tiger. The tiger. Aw, oh, man, you hop on the back of a, a, a taxidermied animal, that's so rude. That is a, a hard practice. Bastard. You know there was a time a year ago I couldn't have got that off without hacking up a lung. I'm, I'm proud of me. <laughs> I'd have made tiger noises and then you should have waited till I come out of a coffin fit. Don't worry guys, I got this. I'm gonna beat him up by myself. Mm. Did I, okay. I think I... I'll stand back and watch. Let me check something. Oh, I lied. I can't take him on by myself. Don't believe me. That's false bravado. <laughs> okay, alright. All I can do is try. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I thought I'd, I thought I'd done something with this one. I was a fun fact for all of you out there wishing to know. This was initially supposed to be part of Boralus' personal quest. <coughs> Pardon me. Remember Boralus? No. Who is he again? Right. Exactly. Is he, <laughs> is he a fighter? It was one of the two, right? I know he had a sword. He's a ranger. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> and, um, yeah. I thought I'd touched this thing up and done some stuff to it. I have not. Thank God. <clears throat> the Weir Jaguar. And 3, 2, 1, let's rock it with Exodus. And see statue bursts to life, gives off that <laughs> Two for two. Yeah. Picks up the uh, tiger statue. I swear I'll, I'll cut his throat. <laughs> it's so tempting to try to petrify this guy with flesh to stone. Like you have no idea. 
no idea. How tempting, but no, I'm gonna save that. And I, w I want to just booming blade the fuck out of this dirty mo mofucker. Huh? I don't get, I don't get sneak attack because Melano was in five feet of me. Okay. I'm not gonna justify that with an answer. Yep, and then I will back up. Uh, 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 yeah, I'll back up. Mono can protect herself. She's she's strong. She's she has more HP than me. She's good. Happy Hildy, I'm back from the grid. Oh, I don't know yep. what the fuck I did. Um, almost fell backwards. Made conversation randomly. Don't know what happened. Um, I'm going to turn on my computer. Have a few moments at the keyboard, strictly at the keyboard, um, to play with you guys, and I'm gonna start dinner and be back and forth. All right. All right. You swing, swing, cling, a bang, bang. Nothing happens. <laughs> you mess. You run away. Don't else your turn. Uh, no. But I will also be right back. Okay. Clifton. Uh, run all right. Any <laughs> chance you could, uh, huh? I'll set the field for you right now. So we are on a combat, and you are an in initiative here now. So. Exactly, 15 foot in front of you is a were jaguar. 15 a foot. What? A were jaguar. This is my chance. To your left. I have to connect these. To your left is Renard, 15 foot. To your north, five foot next, five foot away from the jaguar is Melano, and then 25 foot all the way to your right is Exodus. So there's just the one Jaguar. Just the one Jaguar. I'll post a photo well, for you. Dead yet, guys? Oh, because they would just get into this fight? Oh. <laughs> that, was, that, that was more so, um, that was more so, uh, lovingly, um, asking questions that make no sense. But that actually makes sense. That's an answer. Um, Give me one moment and I'll actually be able to view this and do it myself. Yeah, let's open up Microsoft Edge. Almost said Explorer. What the hell happened to Microsoft Explorer? My one true love. Internet Explorer, that's gone now. RIP yeah, Internet, Internet Explorer. Gone but not forgotten. I want it back like I want the the uh the old um the old Firefox logo back. Bringing up the server. No, Steam. I don't want you to log in. I didn't want you to interrupt me looking for the server. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. Alright. Loading in. There's a white screen. Ray screen, we're getting there, we're getting there. We are getting there. <laughs> oh. Damn, color spray did 46 damage. No, it targets 46 damage worth of um So basically if it if there's fifteen cre if there's three creatures and they've got mm -hmm. They've got 46 hit points between them. It lights up all. It makes three of them blind. So it's um, in a room. Go ahead. It hits how many creatures it can with a uh, with that many hit points. S similar to sleep, how sleep does 28 hit points roughly on average. Um, so if a creature's mm -hmm. got 28 or less, or multiple creatures have less than 28 hit points. Um, then it just takes from that pool and starts knocking people to sleep. This one, instead of knocking them to sleep, makes them blind. Alright. Alright, I'll see the word Jaguar in the room full of animal pelts and cats. Fuck you, I'm not paying for my antivirus. Get away. <laughs> I'm uh, back. See. I can click to do. Um, yeah, we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna do something nice. We're gonna get up in the fray. Get up in the fray of things. First of all, a shield. Thank God you did not tell me I left it behind. I'm gonna equip that. I'm gonna cast. Why is it not? Okay, prepare. There we go. I'm gonna cast. 
Uh, what is this? I don't need to waste a third little spell slot on this thing. But I can. Spirit Shroud. Alright. A Spirit Shroud there. I'm so glad we got here. Uh, so, call for Spirits in the Dead to flirt around with vibration. Okay. Until the spell ends, any attack you make deals 1d8 extra damage and you hit a creature within 10 foot of you. The damage is radiant, necrotic, or cold. Your choice when you cast the spell. What are you hitting it with? Cold. Cold. Okay. I'm gonna attack this, so uh, I forgot how this thing works. Yeah, I am going to. Oh, down to long sword right here. A 12 Oops, nice. will miss. Inspiration! I can roll again? Yeah. <coughs> I, I remember you're roll. someone with. Yeah, you're someone with a tune. Well, that's fucking worse. You're someone with attunement, however. Um, So, I knew there was someone else with attunement somewhere. So, everyone took a long rest. Uh, so I've attuned you to that dancing longsword, so you can actually reap the benefits of a dancing longsword. Um, oh, well, those man. benefits do oh, not shit. include those benefits do not include magically hitting. However, um, did it ask your turn? I just I would have. No, I'm just cursing the longsword for not appearing attuned before I made that attack. That's all right. The little attunement thing was red, and I don't know why. You were not attuned, was all Melano. You're up. Mellow, 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 mellow. Mellow. Um, okay. Oh. Going to do the melano thing and doing. Never mind, I'm not going to do that because that's dumb. Uh. Which is my whip. Oh! So you give it the old 1 2 and it saves. Half as much damage, however. So it takes seven Sikak damage. Do anything else for your turn? Are you smart? Pet or tiger? Hmm? I said bad where tiger. Why are you smart? I'll move over to the Wajagwa. Jaguar. Okay. Alright. So, in its hybrid form, as that's put as in, it immediately sprints off here, just between yourself and, well, for the purpose of this session, we can also say yourself. But between you and Melano, uh, Clifton, you get opportunity of attack if you would like to take it. Yes. Yes, I, I would very much like to take it. Um. Oh shit! Hold on. The the the, the, the does that does that, that's uh fuck. No, that's not that's not the spell. Um. There. Any attack I make. Would that be with the dancing longsword without outside of my hand? You didn't have it do the thing, but it's still it's inside your hand right now. Like you just shwing. Oh my bad. You didn't use your bonus action. Shroud. Yeah, your bonus action was this... burnt shroud, oh, so it can't be flying. So you just got to make a head a normal attack. I'm saying, does spirit shroud still work? I'm checking. Does spirit shroud still works if I? Throw it out and have it dance and hit something. Yeah, however, having it dance is your bonus action, that's the thing. But I already casted Spirit Shroud last turn, so I have the bonus action this turn. Oh, no, you're no, making a no, reaction I'm right now. Okay, okay. I'm tired. <laughs> um, yeah, just gonna, just gonna swim. Um, mm, the dice, can I, the dice though. You know. Try your hardest. Maybe it's a little bit of lethargy, who knows, but that one just doesn't seem to connect, you know. The gods are testing you, Ed Boy. Bane, as the Were Jaguar comes forth, scimitar well a spear, let's be honest, spear, but I'm gonna give it the exact same stats as a scimitar. It comes on towards you and as it does, it looks at you and you know, you a snack. Uh, can I have a bl can I have a private GM 
con save roll, please. Ooh. Private GM roll. On save. You wanted a blind or just a private? GM? Just private. Okay. You take 11 points of piercing damage. And then the Jaguar immediately spins round with its back hind leg and swings at it towards Melano. A 19 for 10. Why does he know how to fight? <laughs> Before immediately darting towards Exodus. Why don't I? I take that. You can take that opportunity Whoa. of attack. Whoa! <laughs> he just he just loves those loves those, huh? Um, opportunity of attack. Okay. Hmm? I'm sorry, I don't have my. Uh... I'm gonna smack him in the back of the head with this thing. Damage typers. Um, cold. Okay. Am I able to fuck? Am I able to fuck my blood for your tattoo? You miss. I miss. You miss. Just miss. But you are now on your turn anyway, so you can also stop rolling privately, GM. Now I just needed it for something. Um, Melano is going to take an attack of opportunity as well. You can. I just do. Can, can I do a spell? I don't think she has Warcaster. I'll check. <clears throat> She does not have Warcaster, so no. What are her opportunities then? Um, 1d20 plus 3 for a punch. However, she has access to Silvery Barbs, which is a better reaction. No, that's fine. Just give something disadvantage for giving something advantage. <clears throat> but it's my turn. Fate. Yep. And run over to this guy and show him. I mean, business. Okay, so you're doing cold damage, yeah? Uh, I'll do acid damage this time. Okay. At twenty-one, and for the twenty-one, I'll give it. So the twenty-one is the only one that hits. Yeah, yeah. I'll give the um. This to the twenty-one. Okay. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 total damage. Then I'll. The bonus action. Yeah. And I'll. 24 hits for 5. That's it. Yeah. I, can I proc that again? Can you what? Can I use the Blood Fury tattoo again, or is it uh -huh. once per turn? I know it's a special use. It's not a bonus action. I think you can use it multiple just... times. Uh, I think you can just key point it in that regard. See, when you hit on the weapon attack, you can spend one charge to do that additional. Yeah, it's just how it is. He's gonna boom, boom. <laughs> Is the acid and necrotic damage run up as it <laughs> stares you down with a stony stare? Did anyone else your turn? Sir. Yeah. Renard. Mm. I gotta chase him across the room. Uh, let's see. Here. Oh, thirty-five. Sweet. Now let's, as always. Mm -hmm. Use the precise strike. And... As you yeah. and strike down into it, you watch as your sword hits it. And as it does, you hear this. Your sword completely fails, utterly, to even move the skin of this creature a millimeter. It is immune to the slashing damage. However, <laughs> it still takes the fire damage. 
A 16 will also hit for 3. Oh. Magic <laughs> only weapon? I hate that. Try again. Because your weapon is magic. Think about what you're fighting. Is there anything else for your turn? No. My hands are rated E for everybody. Exodus. So, I'm having like... I'm like, it's just connected in my mind, right? <laughs> Outside of this room, what did we find? A bag of silver pellets in a bag made of fish skin, right? This guy's a jaguar. What do jaguars eat? Fish. <laughs> I am going to feed him the silver pellets. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I think that's how that works. How do you plan on doing this? I'm here for this. I'm here for this. So I'm gonna open the bag, uh, the lip. I'm gonna open the bag the and the motion. What? You you cut out after open the bag. So I I open the bag and have the lips of the bag around my fingers of one hand, around the pointer and thumb of one hand, circular. Look at this is a three finger. Uh, no, no, so like, bag lip open and then curled around the outside of my fingers. Yeah. And I would use my other hand, or actually I'm using a shield, so I just go to try to jam it in his face and do what I can to get his mouth open. Right, roll me. Roll me an attack. Just as any attack that you're proficient with, we'll class this as like an unarmed strike, but you are still proficient. Okay, so that'd be dex. If I can't, yeah, so dex plus proficiency, so that'd be a plus five. So I'll roll a 1d20 plus five. Yep. Did it not go through? I mean, they're nope. not. It's not letting me type or anything. Hold on. Is my keyboard not on? No, there it goes. 1d20 I plus. One, one, one. Yes. 12. Yep. 12. As you hold the bag to it and just start shaking as you hear the. Tick, 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 you know, it's kind of like, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before you watch it. Like a cat hacking up a hairball. The bag is now empty. And the Jaguar has eaten these BB pellets, if you will. You can tell that it is unsettled by this. Did anything he's, else with your turn? He's, he's, he, he makes some really big exclamation, like he's just solved everything. And he says, I have defeated you! <laughs> With your one weakness, and then he holds up the fish scale bag. And that's the. Uh, and then I'll, I'll run away. <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't. Does that count as an attack? You made an attack roll. Sweet. I run the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, who the fuck is that guy? Can we get back to fighting, please? Who is Someone get your kid. <laughs> Shove the marbles down my throat. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. Clifton. Yeah. Yep. You're up. So, short answer, this thing friendly? Oh. Even short answer, no. Give you a long answer, oh. no. Give <laughs> <laughs> you a long answer. <laughs> Hi, yes, how are you? What are you crying about this time? Avon representative. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't see your face. Come here. Come here. I thought and he was talking to the Jaguar. Okay, I think he's talking to someone IRL. Talking to a cat, just, just not the Jaguar. <laughs> 23, 4, 10 hits, and as it does, you watch as he soar. And, and does not 
break skin. Does not move the skin a millimeter. Your spirit shred, oh. however. Um, so you deal extra damage and you hit a creature within 10 foot of you. It is necrotic or rare and uh, Roll 1d8, please, sir. Yes, sir. Is that hmm. necrotic or rare? Hey. That was cold. I said cold. I'm sticking with it. I'm not oh, gonna cold? Lie. Sorry, yeah, I forgot about the cold one. Okay. Um. Death by a thousand paper guts. We'll get there by the end of the week. Did it answer your turn? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm set the fuck back. Uh, and, can uh, I have a private GM on mm -hmm. save? Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, uh... I am going to... Oh, what can I do? What can I do? Um... I mean... Oh, it's not concentration. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. it's, 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 it's gonna pop this thing out? I'm pretty sure it is. Is it? Yeah, Spirit Shred is concentration. Ooh. I don't know why it's not added concentration to your thing. Um, I'm not... Oh, yeah. It's probably because you get multiple more. concentrations going on here. Let me rip them off. Spiritual weapon is not concentration, however, so you're good there. You can also stop rolling to me now. I have what I need. I'm going to put Spirit Shroud back up, but I'm not going to consume a spell slot. There you go. So, your okay. spiritual weapon, however... Uh, that there is a 19 for 5, which will hit. Did I ask your turn? That's going to be my turn. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Melano. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, uh... Where's Melwa? There she is. He's gonna do is... It's a normal firebolt. A firebolt. 20 for 12 will hit. Is she just... Did I announce your turn? Yes, no? Uh, no. Okay, then. Uh. Jaguar friend. That was. Sorry, uh. This fucker's at the back of this book, right? Yeah, he is. Hold on. Uh. This should be in alphabetical order. It's fucking not. Oh wait, yeah, it says use different stats. Give me a sec. The fuck? Y, V, T, T, S, M, K, G, D, yeah. The fuck, brah? Oh, hold on. I'm listening. Oh, Don't worry. oh, it, it's under L, like Cantropophy, parentheses Jaguar, something like that. It, it's under a different thing, right? It, it's like Shape Changer, Jaguar, right? Because I know those those do weird things, right? Different book for it. That's the thing. Um, mm. it says here ah, so. It's using this as one creature that is a sh really stupid thing. Now, uh, let's see. Um, i got to ask myself, am I sure I didn't fuck with this? Good. 
Apparently not. Okay. Um. Duly noted. Uh, bleh. well, it's gonna go ahead and look at Renard and be like, mmm, that's that. Take a little A12, however, misses before immediately darting itself down towards Exodus. Hand on the floor the entire time, and just as he gets to you, just lifts up with the claw. The claw attack, which I thought I clicked. Yep, he's nat 20. He's like, just... Ping! Uh, you take 13 slashing damage. You're not on haste, don't worry. Uh, Renard, you're 3 fire. Yes. Fane, you're 20 acid. Yes. Go, go, go. Fane. Fane. No, he avoids the tide. Nineteen for four will hit. Seven for six will miss. Fourteen will miss. Seven will hit. You just got boom, boom. You know, swinging a fane, uh, swinging a fane again. Then now's your turn. Sixteen necrotic. Sixteen, and there should be another. Two sixteens. <laughs> there are two 16s, okay. There else your turn? Looks like I've used that four times already. Mm hmm. We knocked down that 10, so I can. The 6. Okay. Is that's, uh, that's all. Oh! Right. Pulling it back. Okay, pulling it back, gonna paste the thing and I'm gonna run the number to you. The specific wording is a charge, not multiple charges. Okay. We can uh, take off. I'll run the 16, okay, because the 16 is the one that. I'll run one of the 16s. Give yourself one of the charges back. Yeah, it's. Why? Why don't they just say yes, no, multiple? This is why. I, this is why I hate Tasha's cauldron of everything. Always uh, comes back to Tasha. As I see, you didn't didn't ask Trump. I'm not right now. I was gonna ask you if I took damage. You didn't take damage, no. Huh. Okay. You've not been hit. You're fine. Now. Uh, Renard. Chasing his cat around the room, I'm down here. Anyone that's ever owned a cat will tell you that's half the battle. Mm, it's like chasing chickens. And Rocky get pretty good at that at the end. The other half is getting them in the carrier. And the other half is getting them back in the carrier after they get out. Eight. And then the other half is getting them to ever trust you again. A 21 for 3. And Radiant, oh, three. <laughs> but it takes that Radiant. And then a 19. For two. Of course, no with a Fireball, only an Eater. Then I'll turn. immune to magic weapons? It's immune to... Hacks that... It's immune to... Non-magical hacks that are not silvered. And magic. It says here, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from attacks that are not silvered. However, you can't really silver fire now, can you? Or acid. Okay. 
Making sure I got that right. I'm good. No, no, that's okay. That is all. For now. This is where I got a strongly worded DM in a few hours. Hey, <laughs> Exodus. I do the thing. Ah, the thing. Remind us I... of the thing. So, one, obviously, I go to attack him with the boom and blades and get that, you know, all that combo. Second thing, however, I'm still trying to shout command words <laughs> at the dude's stomach, trying to activate the silver beads in hopes of making them grow the size of cannonballs. Um, yeah, let's see that attack, because I feel like that one's more likely to actually do some... A 15 just hits. Ayo, sneak. Does the piercing do anything? I'm just curious. Oh, you can just Bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Ooh. If it's not silvered, that... it's not immune. If it's not silvered, it's immune. Fuck, those pellets were silver. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if you were playing the idiot or not, but I was gonna be I was like, okay, we'll see where this goes. Yeah, I should have hit him with the. I mean, none of us have a sling, right? True. But his intestines, dude. His intestines, bruh. Don't even get me started. <laughs> his next kind of guy, guy, his next appointment to the stomach doctor, boy. He does take the four thunder damage because he's not immune to thunder damage. So he Ayo. he takes that like a bitch. Um. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep moving then. And you know what? I'm gonna be a dick. Ten feet. You know what? I wanna. You know what? I wanna bonus action hide and move over here. Around okay. This thing or like, I wanna I wanna hide. Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll a stealth check. This motherfucker just keeps chasing me always. And he, doesn't, he doesn't even do a lot of damage. I just I don't like someone being in my grizzle that much. 26. Did I announce your turn? Nope. Clifton. That's technically a pedestal there. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting real fucking low. <laughs> running around the room now. <laughs> Clifton. Mm -hmm. You're up. Oh, yay. Hmm, alright, let me walk on back. Just let us know what you want to do. Uh, the Jaguar is... Oh. Jaguar's 20 foot to your left, as I is the rest here. of the party. Alright, 20 feet to my left. Spiritual weapon is going to move over to the Jaguar. It can, I'll move it right now, bim bang. And it's going to attack. Yep. Oh, hold on. I need to make the attack. My bad. My bad. Um... <laughs> Where is it? Okay, it's here. Um... I still roll in private. That was so... private, my bad. Yeah, an 11 for 5 will mess. Alright, in that case, I am going to go on over here. I do not believe... Uh, how long is this? A minute, I believe. Yeah, no worry. A minute. Alright, so I get to swing again. 20 for 5 will hit. And, and then you so have your necrotic, which is a d8. Oh, uh, you're cold. Cold. Yeah. Yep. Um, d8, let me roll that. That's what we cold. really want here. Cold. Alright, now, so your turn is going to swing and you watch this, where your sword runs down, seems to crackle with ice. No slash damage, but you can tell you're at least injuring it with the cold. Hmm. Yeah, that, that'll be it. I'm trying to think about how to best do things here. Okay. Melanol. 
I was gonna, uh, I don't wanna use too many of her spells. Man, it's liver. Man, it's liver. Why did Melanor make that fucking save? Uh. Bills. No. Takes 10 C10. I'll be back. Yep. You know, stun. Saving throw it does is minus. Takes a minus d4 from its next saving throw. Got it. Anything else? What is it? Okay. As you watch as the <clears throat> Jaguar kind of gets low on as it does immediately moves forward. I believe that was 14 thunder damage on that Bibbing Blade. Uh, I think it, it might have been 12, yeah. As it does. I just watch. Um, Exodus, could you roll me a strength save, please? Of course. Gotta love blind sight. As it Damn. rushes towards Exodus, pouncing upon him, knocking him prone. Um, there's. Three opportunity of attacks going there. Exodus, yep. who is knocketh the prone. Well, let's see. Uh, yep, so I was going to make sure I'm getting this right for us whilst we're here. Uh, so, hits you with a claw attack. You go prone down, 24 for 7. And then, as it comes down... You know, the is the gaping maw rushes towards you. I need a private GM constitution saving throw, please. Private acid. GM roll constitution six. saving throw. I got you. Six of your instead acid of, and two of your fire. Instead of uh, super herpes, he's going to catch mega A's. <laughs> Mids. <laughs> Ow. And the AIDS is flaring up again. <laughs> End of turn, Finn. Since he wants to run around and do stupid stuff, I'm gonna run over here and kick his dang tiger that he cares about so much. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kick it over, and I'm gonna come over to him, and then I'm gonna, gonna put the hands on him. She's gonna watch his fan runs up like. <clears throat> Like kicking in a door before turning around. It misses 25 for 6. He's gonna kick and goes for the first swing and misses before immediately coming straight down. Boom, back of the head. But uh, I want him to stay right here. Alright. So I'm gonna stunning strike him. Alright. Yeah, let me put it in here for you. Because I've expended as many hit points as, as I want to use in this fight. Uh, where's the stunning strike? Just burn the key point and your save is 15, correct me if I'm wrong? I'm not I'm actually not sure. It's been a while. 13, bullshit. Bullshit, you're 13. You're 13, wow, fuck me. Okay. So you're dung, 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 dung. You dumb. You watch this. I don't know why you're rolling a con save. Yeah, He's I didn't just, mean to do that. You know, watches it. His eyes just go wide and it just stares down. You've rung his bell, mate. You've rung his bell. <sighs> Did I announce your turn? <clears throat> uh, nah. That's it. Bernard. You're up. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. <laughs> Chasing He's stunned, so yeah, you have advantage. Come on, he's down. Yep. Alright, let's make it simple. 19 for 1. And let's add this for flavor. What's he thinking? Oh, he's smiting. Man, if you just get some fucking horrible rolls tonight, mate. Uh, 1. There we go. <laughs> Two, 
plus six for eight. Eight total damage. Just <sighs> Why do you always get the bad rolls, mate? I don't know. <laughs> do anything else with your turn? Anything else you can do? No. Nope. Okay. Exodus, lying there. Huge, young, just bitten at your neck. Burns. Oh. Well. <laughs> Ramble to my feet. Is the thing guy still on the floor? He's not on the floor. He's just stunned. So you know, he can't attack. He can't take reactions. You know, cartoony. He's just standing there, giving it that round and round and round. A little oh, bird. I got, I, got, I got advantage on this. Yep. Ayo, hey, I'm gonna do him in one with the you know the good old natural, the good old one. Uh, so oh. that's in twenty-three. Ao, and then I'm not even gonna bother doing the sneak attack, but he would do it just for noting's sake. You can stop rolling at me now, sir. But yeah, a total of oh, sorry. seven thunder damage. You and then I'm running the fuck away. Because he is enveloped, so you have yourself a 15 foot to get the fuck out of there. Yep. Also, bonus action dash. And I will <laughs> move myself in a, a way that would trigger the most possible <laughs> The what? I'll move myself in a way that would trigger the most possible attack opportunities should he go to pursue me. But yeah, never mind. That just means going a bit further. Yeah, no, that's that's my turn. Clifton! Oh. His bell is wrong. He stands there, spinning round, stunned. What are you doing? Mm. In fact, this man's cooking. I've got an idea what he's doing. I'm gonna move that, um, move that spiritual weapon, which he can. Then burn that spiritual weapon up on his ass. Just that, 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 bang. The number is a sixteen. We crit fish to a nineteen for four. Ding ling ling, and you know what? For good measure, uh, do the old wombo combo and also hit him with a toll the dead to which he saves. Uh, Clifton will then be like, Oh dear god, Melano. Yes, it is. Um, no. I was going to, um, I'm gonna have her just use. Is. Wood fire a. ranged fire thing? Hmm? Moon fire ranged? No, moon fire is just, uh, what'd you call it? It's just a sacred flame. Not really. No, it, it really just has a reflavored sacred flame. <laughs> Make that save again. Fills? Cool, 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 cool. I like that, I like that, I like that. Your last turn? That's my turn. Can you get back up? Not until the end. He's, again, he's not prone, he's just stunned. It's your turn. Okay. Um, he doesn't no. get to remake the save because he's just stunned until the end of your turn. Okay. I uh, I said exactly what Fane's gonna do in his in the general chat. It's like. And you also need to make a standard or arm strike with that first as well. Oh, let's see first. He automatically feels that anyway. So roll. Did we kill this thing? Not yet, but I've taken your turn for you. It was a very simple and easy turn, but speed. Uh, 2d6. Roll me 2d6 there, Jalen. Takes 8 of your acid. 
he want and you said a standard one yeah you need to make a standard attack as per rule is written 24 for nine so it's you know uh hit a creature you need to take the attack action in your turn and then you can replace one of those attacks which you've done so you boop yeah. acid black hard paints the room in a straight line but i assume you're not doing a cone because you're not a total idiot it's a, it's a it's fire oh parts of this room catch fire then you see a little kitty cat just <laughs> melting in the corner the rug is up in flames if, that, if those uh, cats haven't left yet they're not cats can um can uh, have this to you know what i'm gonna give to them is this like matter of time 15. already took away a point Yep. Did it else return? That's it. Okay. Bernard, do you watch as he comes to after being burnt, necrotically hurt, and punched upside the head with acid? You do the Very acid heavy fire. sleeper. <laughs> I just did acid fire necrotic. No longer stunned. No longer stunned. <laughs> 24 for one. One. It's the slashing that's doing you in, man. Now, there is some good fucking damage, though. To shing straight up for a total of si 16 damage. <laughs> Took that off at you initially. Bernard, I attacked you earlier on, didn't I? He did, not miss. Yeah, oh. Mister, I'm suddenly interested in the goings on of you know, other people. Do you know what it is? I've How wrote, are you doing? I've wrote. I've wrote Renard. As in, R. J. Renard. I'm assuming Jamie's Junior. <laughs> That's all. I mean, I should have wrote Clifton. I am a junior, but the J is for Jerome. So you're RJJ? No, I'm RJ. The J is for Jerome. I don't use the J for junior. Ah. RJ junior. <laughs> that's, that's how we start fighting. <laughs> my father stops going by RJ. There's going to be one less RJ in this world. It's not going to be. I'm not leaving. <laughs> RJJR. We, we, can, uh, we can take him out this weekend, RJ. <laughs> let's, 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 let's wait until they make some move. Dude, anything else? <laughs> guys, guys, a plausible deniability here. There's a whole recording. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do anything else your turn, Renard? Uh, no, 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 no. Watch this, guys. Very shaky, ripping apart the stone work. At this point here, he's more fleshy, let's be honest. Yeah. Pulling apart, covered in blood. Teeth broken and mangled, eyes bloodshot, Exodus, you're up. I gotta do the thing again. <laughs> 12 for 5 will miss. He just set this room ablaze, now everything's burning. <laughs> the fire. Uh, 35, 30. There we go. <laughs> the fire suppression that. system kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be my turn. RJ, are you here or do you want me to take your turn for you, bud? I'm here. Then you yeah, are. I'll, I'll clean up the blood a little because it's getting a bit hard to see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to... Uh... Okay, can I see that, that, that Jaguar clearly from, from the... the uh, yeah, yeah. Between the throng of yes. people? Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, the bell tolls. Oh, the dead. My favorite spell of all times is you, brung, and it's just gonna looks round, unfazed. That it's saved. Concerning. Oh, it saved my bird. Was there a save for this shit? Yeah. I never use this shit. 
Oh no, fucking when it's damaged, like you you've got on you've got bad rolls there. You get two d eight. Um, your two d eight is doing better than your two d twelve, but like you know, max damage on an injured creature at your level could be twenty four. That's a fucking cantrip. Yeah, that's that's, uh, that's pretty goddamn crazy. I need to remember that more often. Eighteen for five as you boom, you're gonna watch it. Did anyone else your turn? Oh no, that'll be it. I gotta go real quick. Melanor. She have told the dead. No. Well, she does have shape water, but there's no water in this room. There's a lot of fire, though. Wonder why. Mm -hmm. I wonder where that came from. <laughs> That's over to it. That's crazy, bro. My number. Telegante save. Mains. Bails. Takes nine seacat. Then it else your turn. Yeah. Oh. No. Okay. Z. Where Jaguar will turn around, take one look at Melano, and give the. Infamous. <laughs> that misses. The first time ever. If it does fall. My cat has been. Oh, go ahead. Take its back paw after that bite and just pick it right in Renard's face. That's a nat 20. Mm. Or 16. I guess it answers my question. I was gonna come in saying I just uh, I'm just gonna I was gonna come in saying I, I my cat has been fed. Is this one dead? But no, it's not. It's also feeding. That's <laughs> twenty's hit regardless. Nah, twenty's hit regardless. Yeah. Yeah. I won't use my shield spell then. Fain watches. <laughs> it shakes. The bite and melody and the kick. It's. The bell's tolling, it's just not hearing it. It said the bell tolls for thee. Sorry, what was that? The bell tolls for thee! I really can't make that out. The bell! Sorry, I'm deaf in that ear. <laughs> That's usually at the point where uh, Jalen should have shouted silvery barbs. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Way 16 for 7 will hit. Did I announce your turn? Yeah, you could have. Damn it, you could have. Mm, two pounds of flesh. What? Two pounds so of many, flesh. We have so many pounds. You did I announce your turn? Right As you have back there, you have plenty. No, no that's all. Bernard. In the words of John Denver, take me home. Oh, right. We'll see if what we can do about that. 23 for 4 hits. 10, not so much. Oh, shoot. I forgot to do my Divine Smite. Oh, well. You forgot to what? Throw in that Divine Smite on that first one. That's right. I'll give you it. You've made a hit. So, you know. Most people tell you to do it after that one, but frankly, you've made a hit. You bring down the the fire and radiance. He is he has seen better days, better better days, and he only just still stands. Is there anything else at the turn? No, uh, that's it. Exodus, you got to do that thing that everybody hates that you do, but you come in and you take all the glory. Exodus does 20 triple back trips, back flips, that's right, 60 back flips in total, <laughs> as he comes flip flopping around the room, 
<laughs> bonus action dashing to get all the movement. He just goes in for the ultimate tripper somersault, slice him right in half with the boom blade triple special sinking in water, make it swim. <laughs> we serve finite. <laughs> we serve finishers here, so. This man's uh, just right. reading the dictionary at this point. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, he's so dizzy. Is it? <laughs> I would. He slips on the blood on the floor and falls prone. I will take being prone. I do not <laughs> give me being prone. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's. Clifton, <laughs> Clifton, no. can you do better? Hold on, hold on real quick. Me and me and Ramami, um didn't have drinks. We got frosty instead. So. I need a moment to decide. Though. Give me a bit. All right, gentlemen. That's a question. Well, see, see, here's the trick. You ordered a drink. You didn't choose the frosty option, which was no extra charge. What? All right, I'm here. You're up, buddy. Uh, all right. So, what can I do for you? I can serve you up a nice, hot, steaming pile of... You know what? You know what? I'm, I'm going to be particular and say... Remove where I can see him clearly. Um, and yeah, I'm going to. Hmm, what the fuck should I cast this out? I don't have assurance that this is gonna hit, so I'm just gonna cast it at one right now. Ness is you. Hit one of the little kitty cat Dang. statues. Would have been some good damage. It was. There now's your turn. Oh, well, we tried, uh, spiritual weapon. <laughs> tried, yep. Tried. <laughs> tried. Try tried so again. hard, and again, uh -huh. You did anything else with your time. Doesn't no, even matter. I I oh, never know. <laughs> that would have been some good damage for him right there. Oh. You know that's for breakfast, is right? And you're just eating people's breakfast. Jalen. As she always has done. Nine sliver on the intelligent saving throw. Fails. I was so looking forward to getting one more turn in. And now I'd be the indecent you human being watch. if I didn't give her a plate. Is it just starts to seize and as it does to the floor mm. you drop you know what i don't think i will no i i, I actually don't think i will hmm? gonna start putting out fire in the room <laughs> And it is gone. Alright. Um. So I would like to know what he was so protective of, so I'm gonna search the room. I'd like Melano to give me the help action. Okay. Uh, investigation. Because I want to be thorough. And so she watches the Sorry, body maybe, maybe. of the weird jaguar. Reverts to its human form before back to stone. Oh. Oh no. Oh good heavens. <laughs> oh good heavens. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't, ain't that a picture? Oh, fuck me! <laughs> ain't That's that a something. picture? That's crazy! Hold on, I need to take a picture of that. That's hilarious. Oh my! Mr. Spock? So, your investigation check. Uh, just, just, just 
uh, private text me, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just doing a little look. Uh, in case I want to put anything in. Let's see, what do we find? Is this the most recent table, or is this the uh, miscellaneous loot? You know, I didn't I, put one uh, in here, so give me a little second. Um, we find the original tablet to the Ten Commandments. <laughs> well, it should be like completely off the off the chain. Thou shalt not immigrant. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa! This is kind of crazy here. Kind of. What the fuck? Actually, he actually came down from the uh, mountain with those tablets and had to change him a bit. Oh fuck! Uh, I don't like how this one reads. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like uh, so do yeah. not do, what's what's a cryptocurrency? Why do we need to not do that? I'll give it three rolls on this. There we go. You find a and your entire search. You find a gold ring set with bloodstones, a translucent pink. Moss agate and a transparent pale, palish yellow brown citrine gemstone. Okay, let me put that in my sheet. Hold on. Sorry, not in my sheet. Sticking the ring. Dang but. It. Ted, what were the gemstones? I'll put it in chat so you can see them. You also find with this, just looking around on the table, see over here, you find a dagger, a jade statue. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Actually, gotta pop open the uh, the sheet for that. Okay. One dagger. And one, one jade statue. One jade statue with a scroll tied to the back. I'm just gonna add the scroll as something separate. One scroll. I'm gonna have Melina look at the scroll, see if she knows what it is. Hmm. As she looks at it, she can tell that it is a modified protection from good and evil spell. Okay. Modified to protection from feline and feline lycanthropes. How timely. Uh. Yeah, what do we wish to do now? I'll put those thingies in his inventory. Those thingies. And. And the. You know, one other door out of here? I get it. Makes sense, because I feel there should be a door about me if I'm up. No, my luck. Uh... Ring set with bloodstone. Yep. So you can see, as you're looking in here, a door to the south east. Or southwest, and a door direct to the north. Let's go to this one over here. Open said door. Da, da, dun, 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 dun. So, it's not going that way. That's a that's a corridor. <laughs> We're too used to the corridors. I'm hoping there's a room over here. Open door. Another cord. Oh! Another corridor. My God, I hate corridors, man. 
Let's go with the original one. I swear this place is just corridor after corridor. Checking some stuff in this room as well. This is room number because there was a check. Uh... Yeah. Right, so, these particular little. Sorry, three. There we go. Okay. Do you look, this passage leads to a set of double bronze doors bearing the engraved face of the Jaguar God. Both walls of the corridor are carved to represent two lines of warriors in profile, holding hatchet-headed pole arms facing the western doors. These figures are painted with vivid lifelike colours of reds, black, whites, greens and yellows. Uh, this Ashley completely reminds me. Could I make a roll to... So, obviously, right, like, I saw the name Wear Jaguar, right? Mm -hmm. And but I don't know what my character in the D and D setting would believe someone who is half jaguar, half man would be. If there are any other possibilities, I don't want to assume. You know, the curse of lic lycanthropy might spread, but. Give me Arcana or Nature. I'll hit you with the Nature. Like, Anthropy is a curse, for, say, for sure. It's one that has been heard about throughout. Oh, we're wolves. We're tigers. We're bears. We're rats. Like we're we're jag we're jaguars. Not one that seems to even remotely scratch. Like. Where rat seems like quite a stretch as it is already. And barring tigers and potentially bears. It's be a see it to believe it type deal here, really. I mean I did I just see it? I mean where tigers are a thing. I mean this is just another feline. <laughs> Does it Remember, however. Mm-hmm. And as you look back, this jaguar type person started off as stone, turned to human, and now back to stone as it lies there on the ground, like that. But stone, you fought flesh. Ah. Mm. Mm. Uh. Some sort of divine intervention? Is Jesus. What do you, you mean by that, John? Look at him. I don't know. Performing miracles. And godly powers. Mm. Oh, oh, I'd say a weird jaguar is plausible, improbable, but. It's as unheard of, in general, it's as unheard of as Dragonborn are in this setting. It's, it's possible, but there's been no documented cases. Right. Now there is. is now they're like, praise Jesus. Look at look at the miracles he performs for us. He turned this weird jaguar to stone. No, I would well convey this <laughs> to the convey this to the party, and I would teeter on the the fact that you know that abomination could be anything ranging from a monstrosity constructed of various animal and human parts, um, or potentially. Or potentially could even be 
just throwing it out there. Wear a jaguar, or a, a, a lycanthropic <laughs> creature, a creature with lycanthropy, right? And I'm you say if great. if that is the case, Renard or Clifton, could you do anything about that? <clears throat> like they can use it to about, us. About lycanthropy. Right? Could you could you see if we're carriers of it? Like if we. I mean. I could, I could, I could, I could try. Oh, I don't know nothing about a little cancer puppy. <laughs> little cancer puppy. <laughs> Man just makes words up, and we we, we agree with it. It's great. Yeah, I don't, I don't know nothing about that, but you know, if it makes like, me turn into a blind person, I say it's all good. I could make a couple of checks. I could pray about it. That's about all I can do, but I, I can do something. I just don't know if it's a solution. I mean, just, you're... You study medicine? Study is an interesting word for it. Any... Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and take a crack. Do you have any magic that can yeah. detect whatever lycanthropy would be? A curse or disease or something or... Lycanthropy is taking click curse. And there's something that will like remove curse or detect curse or is is the whole reason that Warforged just throwing out could spell become names here. It's the whole reason that Warforged could become werewolves, which I just think is the funniest thing ever. My god, NECA werewolf! <laughs> NECA werewolf! I need blood and I need meat, but I also don't need to eat. Ah. <laughs> There is probably a spell. I'm looking at the shit right now. So can imagine There's being a vegan a vampire. Like... Oh my god. Yeah, there are a number of spells that it could do be. something. I don't know if they would cure anything. Um, I suck the you had apples and stuff. I could, I, 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 like, nah, I, I, I could, if you give me a, a day to rest, I could bestow a curse. Um. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. The exact opposite of what I asked for. <laughs> I would a curse <laughs> if you give me a day. But, I mean, if, if you're gonna be an ass about it, then I guess I won't. <laughs> so yeah, nothing prepared right now. It's it's within the realm of possibility for me to cure a curse. I don't know if I can detect one, but I can try my best right now, even with curing a curse. I couldn't cure it right now. Okay, then if you can try to detect it and examine right. us, then go ahead. If there's nothing we need to worry about, we just go on, but if it's something we need to be wary of the next time you're preparing spells, then let's just keep it in the oh. back of our minds. Okay, I will, I guess, okay, how many of you want the check? I'm good, I don't have any of that lycanthropy like, nonsense. All right. I think everyone who has been it. should get checked. How about you mind your own business? Hmm? Been our clod. <laughs> First, I will actually no. First, I will. Hold on, is that a I do not ability check. Unnecessary searches That's and seizures. Um, Officer, this is an unlawful search. That's the saving throw. Um, I think that it, I think uh that there would be an ability check. So I'm going to cast touch myself first. Hey, oh. You perfect. Uh, then I'm gonna. Yep, right in front of right in front of Exodus too, <laughs> and I'm gonna. Oh my bad. Why, why is that? Boss. Stop that! Stop that! Okay, there we go. Then, and let's add that D4. That's not a D4. That's a D6. Stop that. There we go. Ooh. You All look right. over and... Exodus. You give him the the one silver. Seems fine. You know, his wounds oh, are. Right. His wounds do seem to be a bit, you know, deep and such. However, as you recall, he was pinned to the ground when he was attacked, and he did bear the full weight of the creature on him, so maybe that additional weight in there. But it doesn't seem to be any festering of the wounds, but again, All right. they are very much fresh wounds. Okay. I will roll. 
my, I wanted to roll a few, a, quite a few things, so I also roll religion. Um, that, that's that's an eight. Uh, I will roll medicine. That's hmm. that's that's a lovely die today. Um, and I will roll. I would hmm. like you to tell me why we have a religion and a wisdom, a religion and a medicine, and then an investigation roll on the back of the oh. Arcana roll. Okay, I wanted to roll any number of ways I could possibly, I guess, discern what, what, what if there any, is anything wrong with him. I rolled Arcana because, this, well, the closest thing I can get to detect curse right now, I rolled religion because I, I feel like there is... I don't know. Clifton doesn't know, so that works fine. Um, with not knowing if there is some sort of correlation between uh, unholiness and lycanthropy. Um, I rolled medicine because you said he had wounds, and I wanted to just check the nature of these wounds. And I want, and they do seem to be fresh and, you know, not. How do I put this? You said the wounds were in good condition for wounds. I still want to see if there's anything I could know, or take note of from the wounds that I could take note of later and also to patch him up investigation to see if there's anything weird about him that I might associate with what little I know about this I'm shooting at everything because I don't know what's the enemy okay religion wise you know do lichens have their own gods is lycanthropy linked to gods? Who knows? Not you or your gods. You can tell that much yeah. for certain. The winds fresh, deep, but they aren't gushing. You know, they are slowly coagulating the way a wound should. You know, there's bits of blood still running off, but moderate pressure would stop the bleed. Um, can I address them? Yeah. Oh. The rest of the wounds. Maybe Don't little, worry, Exodus. Little bandage on it, a little kiss. Um, <clears throat> there doesn't seem to be any change to Exodus. You know, he still looks the way he did. He's fine. As fine as someone who casts disguise self on themselves every morning could be. You know. All right. I, uh, yeah, I, I step back and I say, well, by my very unprofessional opinion, you don't seem to have anything wrong with you right now. I pronounce you alive. <laughs> Breathe. Thank you. Well, guess I'm it might have just been like, um, you know, some scientists wanted to know what happens when you cross a, uh, a cow with a person, you know, everyone gets curious. I mean, not diseases. Well, this is a, this isn't a disease, but hey, I do I know sperm donor. Uh, diseases usually have an incubation period, and I feel like we won't truly know if you're one of those things until you are, or until it becomes apparent. When that comes, we can stave you off, and I can hopefully at the time cure you. That is, I guess, some reassurance. Oh, my concern isn't just about me, it's about everyone, because almost everyone was bitten. Weren't they everyone but Melano? Yeah. All right. Let's, let's go to Renard next. Uh, I, I don't think you have to look through everyone. Turn your head and cough. Oh, no. <laughs> and don't exodus his shoulder. Don't worry, man, we'll put you down humanely. Who, who, who should I check? <sighs> Renard? Anyone besides Jayla want to answer that? Uh, do you want to be checked? No, I'm good. Melano, do you want to be checked? Melano didn't get bit. Would you like to be checked? Nah, I'm good. Alright. I will now perform a self administered testicular exam <laughs> in this corner. Yep, that's a ball. Hold on, that one's missing. <laughs> I knew it. He has very particular testiculars. Okay, I have All a question. Right. Yep. For the DM. Since I missed our entrance into this, mm -hmm. 
place. What, are we here for a purpose, looking for something, or are we just dungeon crawling? You were looking for that place that Sylvanesti told you to look for, as for the giving them, from them giving you the the scrolls and such. You're here looking for. Well, you were going to the place to look for them when you were attacked by a very familiar looking dragon and the ground gave way and you awoke a rose in here so we're here by happenstance not on purpose got it yeah it's supposed to have an everyone okay. breathed on by a dragon yeah thank you for clearing that up that's good yeah Dylan, you stand here looking in this corridor at the door with the paintings on the wall. What do the paintings say? It's just people. It looks like a a war of some sort. You know, people getting ready to fight. I'm gonna make sure I'm still looking out for traps before I continue down the uh... You moved as you said it, so you said it before you, you you moved before you said it. As you do, you stand on here. Ding. You watch as by the door, two of the bodies in the wall pop out. They're let's call them halberds. Come forth in an X shape, and you hear this comes from them. They spark and hum. As two warriors pivot out from the walls in front of you, crossing their metal halberds, barring the way to the door. How dare they? They know who I am? Mm -hmm. uh, we can't mm -hmm. go this way, guys. I'm going to let a couple of... You said they were guards? Or just the halberds? Yeah. Just statues. The statues that come out and then the halberds cross. So like yeah. guards, but they're not people. They're very much just stone. Fe yeah, stone feature. Yeah. That means we can't we go that way. Solve it. Just because they're stone now doesn't mean they're going to be stone in two minutes. You know, <laughs> I feel as if this place has some cultural or religion significance. Uh, Exus would go to walk around the room and examine the various artifacts and paintings and of the war and I try to either use whatever you think is appropriate history or religion I assume to determine uh, the battle and about the cultures and who took place in said war I'm really asking me that question really mm -hmm. What? Really asking me that question. What? What? <laughs> uh, go with history. Listen, I don't know if it could be important. So War. That one. War never War. changes. Yeah, he says that. <laughs> he says that. He looks at the painting. He like spends, I want to say, seventeen hours looking around that. He looks around the room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He he sounds like he's on the verge of something. And then at the end of the day, he stands in the middle of the room and he opens his mouth and he says, War. War never changes. War. War never changes. <laughs> yeah, I would say for it as well. Um, there is enough room. It's not like really, there is enough room that you could, in theory, crawl under those axes that are humming. Like, it's not, you know... Not happening. It's not like... Yeah. You're gonna, those axes are gonna split you in Twix. I'm gonna... <clears throat> <laughs> I'm like the cats in these rooms. I'm so always curious. <laughs> I hate leaving things uninvestigated. <laughs> but whatever the party wants. Left or right? Mm. Or is, are we still looking around the room? 
looking, I'm gonna ask for perception Jackson. You guys can look, I think, go towards the statues. That's my vote. Just go under, go under the blade. I'll crawl if I have to. Um, for yourself here. Sorry, this is how fucked that it is, that I have to read a box for another room whilst you stand in this room. Great design, guys. Great design. Thanks, Wizards of the Coast. The calendar. A great wheel of stone. Which is here. Carved from limestone in the centre of this calendar is a symbol of the sun surrounded by various sigils depicting seasons of the year. The stone is 10 foot across and is mounted 5 foot above the floor over a stone altar. The altar rests with a ceremonial dagger which you have picked up and the jade statue of a cat which you have picked up. At the foot of the altar is the cat statue with his paw out begging. Yep, so now I can walk in this room. Oh, it's, it's just, I forgot to cook. Because this here, the, the, the calendar's here, but it's a completely different number. But it's not a Wait. number on the map. It's fucking dumb. Did you say a cat statue with its paw outstretched? Yeah, like it's begging. I go to give it a gold coin. Take Hello? one off my sheet. Hello? Nothing happens. Mm. The gold coin still sits Nico. there. Go, go under the, the blades. blades. Roll me a dex Where's check. We... Uh, sir. Ben? And then John, you were saying? What? There are any of those agates called a cat's eye agate? Moss agate, never mind. You get under the You get under the blades without any issue. We'll open door. Ah! You open the door. I'm gonna go with And here. When you open the door. Oh sorry, All right, let me give you an again, let me show you this. When the door comes open, a rush of warm fetid air greets you. The room is lit with a sanguine yellow glow. A sanguine glow, rather. On the wall, opposite the door, are tacked several human skins. Fuck, that got grim quick. A cat o' nine tails hangs beside them. To the west of the room, widens to accommodate a statue that it towers almost to the ceiling. The statue is an ogre-like fi figure, outfitted in flayed skins. Watch <laughs> get fucking grim. And adorned with skulls with a gaping mouth wide enough to swallow a horse whole. Holy mackerel. What the fuck? <laughs> it is seated atop a huge basin of red hot coals, more than 10 foot in diameter. Around the statue is a pile of splintered bones, skulls, and cracked pates, cracked pates, and broken weapons. In front of the display crouches a panther. Deathly still, facing away from the statue. To the east, the walls are highly polished. They loosely enclose an intricate carved well that seems to be illuminated from within. Beyond the well, on the wall, is a blackened mirror with a richly ornate. Oh, there's no phone though. Directly above the well oh, is a 25 you? foot high ceiling, a 5 foot wide opening can be discerned in the red light of the room. I can hear you now. I don't, I don't think we want to go in this room. Do you see all those human skins just tattered on the walls? I don't know. Are any of them gold? No, they're human skins. I mean, uh, how, how fresh are they? I'll put uh, two more gold coins in his palm of his hands before moving on. Nothing happens. All right, I'll keep it there. The next traveler by, and hopefully it's not a party member. I'm just joking. I don't want to go in there either. I hear human skin something out. What's going on in here? Whoa! 
Oh my god, here's the I think a dex a... check. Sorry, what was that? Dex check, please, sir. Of course, of course. A mere formality, a mere formality check. Uh, saving throw or just check? Just a check. 20. No issue. I might as well, too. Do I see no, that thing? You see everything that you see. Everything that I that... wrote, you, saw, you see the panther, but it doesn't care about you. I thought it was a statue that could swallow a horse. I didn't know it was an actual creature. I must heard that bit. A panther that can swallow a horse seems like none of my business. He looks at the rest of the party, and he's like, Hey guys, I'm gonna sneak up on it. And steps into the room. I want to live. <laughs> Where is this? Where is this hole in the ceiling that you were talking about? It's, uh, up into here. I'm gonna go that way. Okay. Then, as you look up, as you look up at this very, very high hole in the ceiling. See, there's a lot here. <laughs> so, the hole in the ceiling. How do we get there? It's a good fucking. There's so much in this. Uh, yeah. It's very tall. High. Oh. How high is it? <clears throat> How high is the ceiling here? Twenty foot, I believe it said. Twenty. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna double check. It's fucking dun 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 cat and tail, sanguine blow, tunnel. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and say twenty foot. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, sorry. Twenty five foot high oh. ceiling is the words. And a five foot hole. So twenty five up, five wide. Do you think I can teleport up there? Is there like a footing that I can use or something I can grab onto? You need to see where you're face stepping to. That's the... Gonna... If I grab your face step. Uh, face step, a feature you have that hasn't been used much. Uh, magic teleport 30 feet to an unoccupied space that you can see. So whilst you can teleport up into the sky, because technically you can see it, you then fall 30 feet. I was hoping to grab onto like a ledge or something that's up there. It's not just a hole. It should be like a ledge or something to grab, right? This is like a smooth anybody tunnel. Got a... And we're not getting in there anyway. Anybody got a grappling hook? No. I have a, I have a python that we can probably use as a grappling hook. You have lost connection. Trying to re-establish. Guess what? Server crashed. Mm. Guess what? PC's restarting. Fucking Windows update. Do you know what? Do you know what they're? Since that's happened, that's the gods intervening. That's yeah. Paladine himself going. You I'll give you hours. I'll give you a week to think about it. Uh -huh. Call it there. Oh, I'm gonna figure out how to get in that hole. <laughs>